Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook. Comprehensive Comic. My understanding is incredible. I start writing Medusa. Chapter 1. Sakurajima. Fuyuki City. Inside the Meitu family's mansion. The first ray of sunshine in the morning broke through the sky, and the crisp chirping of birds in the courtyard forced Shinji Meitu to sit up. The blurred eyes gradually became clear. However, before he could fully wake up, a soft body pressed against his back together with the quilt. Feeling the delicate touch from behind and the unbearable weight of the shocking weapon. Meitu Shinji couldn't help but take a breath. Oh hello, Oni-chan. Meitu Shinji took a deep breath and pressed the gun forcefully. He had no choice but to ask the girl lying on his back to get up. Sakura, put your clothes on quickly. Otherwise it's time to catch a cold again. No it. Mato Sakura was reluctant to leave, but before leaving, she hugged Meitu Shinji tightly and took a big sip. I'm going to prepare breakfast. Looking at the background of Meitu Sakura leaving, Meitu Shinji breathed a sigh of relief. He had worked hard all night and didn't want to stay in the bedroom during the day. The reason why the relationship between the two became like this, of course, because at this time, Meitu Shinji was no longer the same person. To put it bluntly, he had been replaced by another soul before he was born. When he first arrived in this world, he learned that he had traveled through time as Meitu. Shenji is broken. What a heavenly collapse. Not only does he not have a magic circuit to become a magician, but he also has to endure the contempt of Lord Chong all the time. Originally, he had planned to escape from this ghost place as soon as he became an adult. Fortunately, although the system was late, it arrived. Just 10 years ago, he finally got the password right. He awakened the full level, intelligence-defying talent. Just after Meitu Zhangyan failed. Meitu Zhangyan was ready to face the helpless when Sakura started to attack, he observed the marking insect and understood the servant magic magic. He forcibly summoned the phantasma seed for a sneak attack, killed Meitu Zhangyan, and saved Sakura. Afterwards, he became seriously ill. This also led to Sakura's special attachment to him. This attachment is not a bad thing for him. Anyway, Sakura is just the adopted daughter of the Meitu family and has no blood relationship with him. Moreover, Meitu Zhangyan is dead, and now he he is the head of the Meitu family. Putting aside his complicated thoughts, Meitu Shinji closed his eyes and examined his body. You deeply explored Meitu Sakura's body structure and created a method for constructing magic circuits. Now he has built 1200 magic circuits for himself. 1200 complete magic circuits. A total of 1200 entries. You know, even Ilya, an artificial human, only has 66 main magic circuits. The magic circuit serves as the source of the magician's power, which is also a symbol of his magic talent. With 1200 magic circuits, he is already a well-deserved genius. In terms of magic power reserves, he is no less than an ordinary servant. Feeling the magic power filling his body, Shinji Meitu's face showed a trace of joy. But his smile soon faded. This level alone was not enough to make him excited. His goal is not just to become a magician. Whether it is the third method that can materialize the soul and achieve immortality, or the second method that can travel through and interfere with parallel worlds, they all make him excited. But before that, he had to participate in the fifth holy grail. It's good to observe the third method contained in it up close, as well as the, roots, hidden outside the world. What is brother thinking? As soon as he opened his eyes. Meitu Shinji met a pair of quiet, jewel-like pupils. Sakura, do you want to join the Holy Grail War? After hesitating, Meitu Shinji slowly asked. The girl turned around and squeezed into his arms, reaching out and gently touching his face. As long as her brother wants it, Sakura will help her brother get it back no matter what. But, as far as I know, Rin will also participate. However, before he could finish his words, a delicate finger touched his lips. Meitu Sakura raised her head and showed a bright smile. Everything about Sakura belongs to her brother. In the magic workshop in the basement, the disgusting swarm of engraved insects had already been cleaned up by Meitu Shinji. Instead, there were pieces of magic materials and holy relics. In the center of the workshop, a huge summoning circle has been carved into shape. Even though earth-shaking changes had taken place here, Meitu Sakura's breathing was still unavoidable. Meitu Shinji gently held her hand to express comfort. Are you ready? 
Cherry. Under his encouragement. Meitu Sakura took a deep breath and plucked up the courage to walk towards the summoning circle. She stretched out her hand and showed the three bright red command spells. The Grand Duke whose foundation is stone and contract, whose ancestor is, the guardian of the scales. With the surge of magic power, the summoning magic circle instantly burst into colorful light. Pure angel feathers fell from nothingness. The strong light flashed, and an exquisite and shapely blurred figure slowly emerged in the magic circle. When the dazzling the light gradually dissipated, and the beautiful figure wearing an eye patch revealed her true identity. Answer your call. I am your servant, Ryder. Are you my master? You observe the heroic spirit summoning ceremony and understand the art of summoning the great heroic spirit. Closing square bracket. Meitu Shinji was slightly stunned. Unexpectedly, just a heroic spirit summoning ceremony could bring him unexpected gains. Different from traditional summoning rituals, the great heroic spirit summoning technique can completely select heroic spirits from the Hall of Valor to choose to summon, and it is absolutely mandatory and cannot be tolerated by the heroic spirit. Theoretically, as long as his magic power is sufficient, there is no limit to the number of heroic spirits he can summon. In other words, as long as he wants to, he can end this holy grail war at this moment. However, after careful consideration, Meitu Shinji gave up this tempting idea. After breaking the rules, who knows what kind of changes will happen in the Holy Grail War. It would be bad if it attracts the attention of Alaya and Gaia, the two major inhibitory powers again. Moreover, those powerful heroic spirits are all magic black holes. If there is too much magic power, they can be drained dry in an instant. After giving up this unrealistic idea, Meitu Shinji turned his attention back to the beautiful figure in front of him. The tall figure, coupled with the soft purple knee-length hair and the iconic eye patch, unsurprisingly revealed the opponent's true identity, the famous female monster Medusa in Greek mythology. No. To be precise, she should be the youngest of the three Gorgon sisters, a beautiful goddess in her prime. Possessing unparalleled excellent motivation that is suitable for the job description. Yes. I am your master. After a brief moment of astonishment, Meitu Sakura stretched out her hand to show her command spell. Feeling the magic power of the command spell, Medusa nodded lightly. Next, I will do my best to assist you. The slightly cold voice echoed in the basement, but it revealed an undoubted flavor. Meitu Shinji understood that this was the character of Medusa. She was silent and reserved, seemingly cold and ruthless, but in fact she was very concerned about the master with a loyalty that was almost self-destructive. Unexpectedly, Meitu Sakura suddenly raised her right hand. Declare the command seal and follow the rules of the Holy Grail. In the next actions, protect your brother at all costs and absolutely obey his orders. In the blink of an eye, the Scarlet Command spell faded away. It also means that the order has taken effect. Cherry. The incident happened so suddenly that even Shinji Meitu had no time to stop it. Brother, I'm sorry. A command spell was wasted. Looking at Meitu Sakura's guilty expression. Meitu Shinji couldn't say anything else, so he could only rub the girl's head lovingly. Nothing. Regarding everything that happened, Medusa seemed unusually calm. She came over and touched his face gently, then leaned closer and sniffed lightly. The purple hair tips brushed the tip of his nose, making him feel itchy. I've memorized what he looked like and what he smelled like. Medusa said seriously. Just when Meitu Shinji didn't know how to complain about this strange memory method, a strange burning sensation suddenly came from his hand. He raised his right hand in surprise, and three scarlet the runes slowly emerged. This is, a command spell. What's going on? Shenji doesn't understand. It stands to reason that before the Holy Grail War begins, the Holy Grail will select those outstanding magicians who meet the conditions to issue the command spell. But now it stands to reason that it should most of the summoned heroic spirits had already been summoned. Suddenly, Shenji suddenly reacted. If this happens, there is only one possibility. A certain master died in an unexpected way before the war started. So the Holy Grail will choose a new master to continue the war ritual. If he remembered correctly, there was only one master who died before the war began in Fuyuki City. That was Medea's first master. For some unknown reason, he was directly killed by this traitorous witch. Originally, 
He only planned to assist Sakura in participating in the Holy Grail War as a magician, but he did not expect that he now also has the qualifications to be a master. Interesting. This Holy Grail War is getting more and more interesting. Brother, will you start summoning servants now? Looking at the command spell on Shen Er, Sakura asked happily. If there are two servants to protect Shen Er, then his safety will be greatly increased. Shen Er was stunned and shook his head slightly. No. It is true that with the great heroic spirit summoning technique, he can select those servants with peak combat power in the Hall of Heroes. But at this time, he has a better idea. He has not forgotten the one who is known as the Betrayal Witch. Miss Medea has a strength that cannot be compared with modern magicians. She also successfully used the loopholes of the Holy Grail War to change herself from a servant to a master. If they can convince the other party, then they will have three servants on their side. Establish huge advantages in the early stage. Rider, I need to get to Ryudo Temple as quickly as possible. Please. Facing Shenji's request, Medusa didn't hesitate at all. She directly summoned Pegasus, the Pegasus, and stretched out her hand to Shenji. Shenji sat on it without hesitation. Hold me. After confirming that Shenji would not fall, Medusa drove Pegasus directly into the sky. High in Shinji Meitu's hands tightly wrapped around Medusa's slender waist. If Medusa hadn't thoughtfully used magic power to create a barrier for him, he might have been blown down by the strong wind at this time. The magician's physique is really weak compared to the servant. But at this time, Shinji has no time to care about this. He is thinking about how to persuade Medea, the traitorous witch, later. After all, this holy grail war is different from the past, and the strength of each servant is terrifying. Not to mention the famous King Damao, his opponents also include Gilgamesh who survived the last holy grail war, and the immortal berserker Hercules. Each one individually transcends specifications. In fact, even Sister R in front of me has strength that surpasses most servants. It's just that it's not dazzling under the cover of these perversions. In a state of complete victory, she was able to suppress Heidi Mao's nearly infinite magic power for two minutes. Just as he was sighing, the two of them had already arrived above Ludong Temple. The landing of the celestial horse Pegasus caused a gust of wind and waves, frightening two monks who were cleaning the yard and they fell to the ground. I'll give you two minutes and leave immediately. Or, choose death. Under the threat of Shen Er, the monks fled here in a hurry. If they couldn't reach an agreement later and Medusa and Medea took action, he had no way to guarantee the safety of these people. After all, these two are not beings who show mercy to ordinary people. They might even become their magic power supplements. You should step back first, Ryder. After the monk escaped, Shen Er ordered Medusa. He didn't want any unnecessary misunderstandings to arise later. Medusa hesitated for a moment, nodded and disappeared into the air. But she didn't go far, and he was silently hiding not far away, ensuring that he could save Shinji at any time. Shinji Meitu stood in front of the gate of Ryudo Temple, calmly watching the mountain road. Time passed by. Finally, a slightly familiar figure appeared. On the road. Medea appeared. As a heroic spirit, her purple-black robe was undoubtedly very recognizable. The moment he saw the other person, Medea also noticed him. And him the bright red command spell on the back of the hand. Are you here to kill me? Call her out, no need to hide anymore. It's really ridiculous, I didn't expect that I would leave the show like this. Medea glanced in the direction where Medusa was hiding without leaving any trace, and then turned to look at Shen Er. There was a hint of unknown meaning in her voice. The wide hood covered her delicate face, making it impossible for him to see show the other person's expression. In fact, she is not my servant. I'm not here to kill you either. Shenji raised his right hand to show his sincerity. Oh. Medea raised her head with great interest, looking at the young man in front of her with a pair of light blue pupils. Shenji took a deep breath. I haven't chosen to summon a servant yet, Medea, I need your power. I know I'm not a good person, nor can I be called kind. But there is only one thing I can guarantee you. That means I will never abandon you. No harm will come to you before I fall. Can you lend me your power? After finishing speaking in one breath, Shen Er stared at Medea in front of him anxiously. If the other party refused, then he could only order Medusa to kill the other party, and then choose another servant from the Hall of Valor. 
However, Medea Dia did not speak, but just stared at him quietly. The atmosphere fell into a strange silence for a while. After an unknown period of time, Medea finally spoke and broke the silence first. He he. How dare you say such a thing after knowing my name? You are so unexpectedly brave. Have you failed? Shen Er felt cold in his heart, but before he could react, the figure of Medea in front of him had disappeared. A pair of hands had already wrapped around his neck. Shen Er hurriedly turned his head, but it was with Medea. The cheeks were pressed together. With the gentle breath hitting his face, Medea's voice also reached his ears. Let's just believe it again. Is it really good for someone like me to be so happy? Then, please take me for another walk. Shenji turned around and held Medea in his arms, looking at Medusa not far away. Ryder, go back to Sakura first. Although Medusa is not his servant, what will happen next always has a feeling of NTR. It makes him feel inexplicably strange. Besides, he doesn't have a habit of being watched. Medusa nodded, disappeared. Shenji carried Medea and walked to the house not far away. Perhaps having a premonition of what was about to happen. Medea casually arranged a barrier, which seemed to acquiesce to Shenji's behavior. But immediately, with the magic power, with the transmission, Medea's confused face showed an extremely shocked look. Such a huge magic power, is this really something that a modern magician can possess? The next morning, Shenji woke up feeling itchy. Gently brushing away the blue hair scattered on his face, he still had an unreal feeling when he looked at Medea lying next to him. I didn't expect things to go so smoothly. Looking at Medea's pointed ears and the faint smile remaining on her face. This betrayed which was actually gentler than he imagined. It was only then that he noticed that Medea's face was not wearing the witch makeup that always appeared in the anime. Shenji turned over and sat up, the expression on his face suddenly froze. Then it got weird again. In fact, he deliberately chose this method to sign a contract with the other party, firstly to deepen the bond between them, and secondly to replenish the other party's magic power faster. But what the hell is that flash of red on the sheets? Shouldn't Medea be a single wife? It's not that he has any special preference for wives, but Medea's current state really makes him a little surprised. If Medea was a girl who responded to the summons of the Holy Grail, then she should not have the noble phantasm, all laws will break the ring that can break the contract. After all, this noble phantasm is the embodiment of the witch legend she betrayed. But soon Shinji stopped worrying about this matter. The great holy grail had long been contaminated to a great extent, and he had done many strange experiments with the spiritual veins of Fuyuki City before, intentionally or unintentionally. It is not incomprehensible that some minor changes may occur to the summoned heroic spirits. What's on your mind? Medea's voice woke up Shenji. He lowered his head and met those sapphire-like eyes. You women all like to ask this question when you wake up. Shenji didn't know how to complain, but he knew that at this time never show a trace of impatience. He gently held Medea in his arms and asked softly. Has the magic power been replenished? Um, Medea blushed and nodded slightly. Now I have all my strength back. That's good. Shenji breathed a sigh of relief. He had been worried that his magic power could not be fully replenished by Medea. After all, he did not want her to replenish her magic power by hunting ordinary people. However, what he did not know was that. Medea at this time she was also extremely shocked. In just one night, all her nearly exhausted magic power had been replenished. Not only that, but now in terms of magic power reserve alone, it even far exceeded her previous heyday. Looking at Shenji's with such a simple face, Medea couldn't help but feel a little confused. Is this really the magic reserve and quality that a modern magician can possess? Even in the age of gods, there are not many magicians who can compete with it. Every one of them is an epic figure who left immortal legends in history. What a terrifying magic talent. It seems that this time, I have really found a great master. Isn't this a kind of luck, or maybe it's misfortune? Let's go back first. After helping Medea get dressed, Shenji looked around to make sure there was nothing missing before speaking. Want to leave? This is a nice place, with plenty of magic power. Give me some time and I can definitely turn this place into a good magic position. Medea suggested as she looked at the surrounding environment. Of course, Shinji knew that what Medea said was true. 
After all, she used this as a base in the anime and summoned Sasaki Kojiro. He would try to break into Ryudo Temple. Mao and others fought back one by one. However, he still rejected the proposal. Shinji held Medea's hand. No need, I've prepared a better place for you. Compared to this place, the Meitu family's ancestral home is not a bit better. With the continuous improvement of Meitu Zangyan, the Meitu family's ancestral home is not comparable to the simple magic workshop of the Yuanban family. Not only does it have a large number of defensive magic arrays, but there are countless magic materials stored in them. Meitu Zangyan probably never thought in his dreams that his hundreds of years of accumulation would finally take advantage of him. After hearing Shinji's words, Medea didn't even have a trace. Hesitating, she took his hand and left the room. Shenji couldn't help but sigh, this is Medea. Once she chooses to believe in someone, she will pay for them unconditionally. In some ways, she is quite similar to Medusa. Oops. Shenji suddenly realized that he came with the help of Medusa's Pegasus, and now how to go back has become a problem. I don't know if the tram is available at this time. Just leave it to me. Medea let go of Shen Er's hand and constructed a space teleportation formation in front of him. Although he knew that Medea had the ability to teleport, he did not expect that she could actually achieve long-distance teleportation. It seems that he at first, I still underestimated the ability of this ancient magician. Just tell me the location. After the formation was completed, Medea extended her hand to Shen Er again. Shen Ru readily accepted the invitation, and the two disappeared into Ludong Temple together. However, just after they left, not only did a man in blue armor appear in the place where the two of them disappeared. It's still too late. Unexpectedly, she was allowed to escape again. In just the blink of an eye, Shinji and Medea appeared in the ancestral home. Medusa, who sensed the power of the magic wave, appeared immediately, and put away her guarded posture after discovering that it was Shinji. Medea did not make an attack gesture, and looked curiously at the servant who had been following her master last night. Medusa, on the other hand, still looked indifferent. Shenji on the side did not stop the probing between the two women. At this time, his eyes revealed a trace of confusion. You have observed and experienced the long-distance teleportation of the magic of the gods, and combined with the, imaginary number, attribute magic, you have understood part of the, space, power. Space, power, a powerful power possessed by a few persons and their noble gods, possessing the ability to rewrite space at will. This is, power. Shanur was ecstatic. The reason why modern magicians practice no matter how hard they are is to master magic. It was because of their power that they could not compete with the magicians of the age of gods before. The source of their power is actually different. Modern magic is nothing more than driving magic formulas that deceive the world in a very short time. Magic of the Age of Gods is directly connected to the gods. His power can naturally rewrite the rules of the world. This is a power comparable to that of a god. If he can fully control the power of space, he can even rewrite the dimensions of any object. Oni-chan, are you back, who is this? Sakura rushed into the room to break the awkward atmosphere, and looked at Medea with some vigilance. Sakura, this is my servant, Medea. Medea, this is my sister Sakura and writer's master. Sakura, please take Medea to the magic workshop and let her use all the materials. Shenji explained and ran back to his room happily. He wanted to explore the use of space power. Medea and Sakura were left looking at each other. Hello. Please give me your advice in the future. Sakura came back to her senses and bowed to Medea. Hello, please follow me. After the two left, the transparent Medusa sighed. She could already foresee that this house would never be calm in the future. It was so troublesome. In the bedroom, a teacup appeared out of thin air. In Shen Er's hand, it disappeared in an instant. After simple experiments and exercises, he has mastered some uses of space power. For example, the simplest storage, retrieval is quite easy. There are also folding and extending. Just like him he can extend the space around him infinitely and then fold it, forming a kind of pseudo-absolute defense. In theory, as long as his magic power is enough, the enemy will not be able to touch his body. It is somewhat similar to Gojo Satoru's unlimited technique. It's just that one is based on space power, and the other is based on imaginary attributes. 
Of course, he is still unable to defend against certain special attacks. For example, see Yu Chilane's noble phantasm, Spear of Piercing Death Thorns, as a causal weapon. First is the, must hit, effect, and then is the cause of, shooting. It can completely span infinite space. In addition, there are anti-realm treasures such as the Golden EA, which are destroyed together with the space. Non-heating weapons are different from ordinary magic can no longer hurt him. In addition, there is one other way to use space power. It is also the only way to attack. That is cutting. Tear apart all the space where the target is, and together with the target is torn apart together. If you cannot break away from the lock before the power is activated, it is almost impossible to resist. However, this usage consumes a lot of money, and even he cannot use it continuously. After all, it is the power of the gods, and he does not have divinity. It was satisfying enough to be able to do this. Carefully controlling the magic power in his body. Shinji began to try. Not good. With a scream, the objects in the entire room were torn to pieces in an instant. It was like a typhoon passing by. And Shenji also fell to the ground because he had exhausted the remaining magic power. The expected pain did not come, but he is falling into a softness. What happened? Medea held Shen Er and stared at the messy room warily. Medusa's figure also appeared closely behind her. This is, you have the power. As an excellent magician of the gods, she quickly detected the truth from the remaining magic power fluctuations. She looked at Shen Ji in her arms in disbelief. Yin Hong's little mouth was so shocked that she could not close it for a long time. Even the waves continued. Medusa, who was not surprised, had a look of extreme shock on her face at this time. As a goddess, she understood what power meant better than Medea. That was the source of the power of the gods. It was also determined by the gods in the mythical age. The basis of one's own status. I had some insights from watching you build a magic circle before, but I don't know how I mastered it. Medea was speechless for a moment. Is this like a language that humans can speak? Even the strongest magician of the gods can only reach the limit of being comparable to gods. Just because he is a human, they were unable to master the power of power and could only borrow it. If the magician saw this scene, their wills would probably collapse. After a long while, Medea slowly uttered a sentence. Are you, really not the illegitimate son of a certain god? I'm not. Su Ming looked at Medea calmly. He didn't want any gap to arise between the two of them. Fortunately, Medea did not dwell on this issue and directly chose to believe Su Ming. But this way I have some new ideas about the construction of defensive arrays. Maybe you can use your power to upgrade the magic workshop. Create a temple that is no less than that of the mythical era. Building the Meitu family into a temple. Su Ming couldn't help but interrupted Medea's thoughts. Is it really possible? With my current magic power, I'm afraid I won't be able to cover such a large area with power at all times. Medea's face showed a confident smile. Don't worry, it won't continue to consume your magic power. It's just adding your power to the spell. But then Medea didn't know what she thought of. She gently touched her cheek with her fingers and fell into distress. Existing materials are generally sufficient. But it still lacks a core that contains divinity. Hearing this request, Su Ming couldn't help but feel a little embarrassed. In modern times, divine materials are so rare that even holy relics cannot compare with them. Even the Meitu family, one of the, three royal families, does not have a collection. Can't it be replaced by something else? Su Ming asked tentatively. No. Medea shook her head very simply. Ordinary materials simply cannot withstand power. Maybe I have a solution. At this time, Medusa on the side suddenly spoke, attracting the attention of the two of them. Perhaps it was because of his fear of trouble and also because his magic power supply was relayed through Ying, and she brought it to Su Ming. The sense of existence has always been very low. So much so that Su Ming would subconsciously ignore the other party. Under the gazes of Su Ming and Medea, Medusa held her hands in front of her chest. A scarlet light shone in her hands. Su Ming was stunned for a moment, then immediately reacted. The noble phantasm, seal of others' blood temple. It is a barrier technique paired with the blindfold on Medusa's face, self-seal dark temple. Once activated, humans within the barrier will be quickly dissolved. 
However, it will be slightly more difficult to work on people with magic knowledge. Is this okay? Medea examined it carefully and looked happy. No problem. Su Ming then remembered that Medusa came in the form of a goddess in her prime. So the noble phantom she held should also have divinity. According to common sense, even in the previous Holy Grail Wars, cooperation was briefly achieved. Then the allies will never reveal the true name and noble phantasm information of the servant easily. Because once these things are known to the opponent, they will 100% be targeted by the opponent. Now Medusa Kandia's face manifested his noble phantasm, which shows that he has complete trust in him. It really helped. Thanks for having you, Ryder. Facing Su Ming's compliment, Medusa's cool face rarely changed. The three of them are all action types. Now that the problem of materials has been solved, they immediately started to investigate the Meidu family's magic without any hesitation. The transformation of the workshop. In the basement, Su Ming's terrifying magic talent once again shocked the two servants. Under Medea's guidance, he was able to construct various materials into the basis of various spells with ease. The beautiful eyes of the two women couldn't help but be filled with brilliance. It didn't seem like it was the first time they had come across this technique, as if it was his innate instinct. I really don't know what the meaning of my previous hard work is. Medea smiled bitterly. Medusa standing next to her couldn't help but nodded in agreement. You participated in the construction of the temple spell, combined with space power, to create an A-level anti-army noble phantasm, domain infinite airspace. Anti-army noble phantasm, domain infinite airspace. Constructed within a range of 500 meters with yourself as the core of separate space. All connections between the inside and outside will then be severed. Su Ming can manipulate the space in the domain at will, which can be said to be a combination of offense and defense. When encountering an enemy with two strong defense capabilities, he can even actively detonate the field to collapse the space into a miniature black hole, tearing the enemy apart. The price is that all his magic power will be drained. Why does he feel that he is developing into a servant, and now even the noble phantasm has come out, he doesn't want to be a righteous partner. Su Ming didn't know where to complain for a while. But it's better to have an extra trump card than not to have one at all. Thank you for your hard work, leave the rest to me. Medea came up and gently wiped the sweat from Su Ming's forehead. I have no problem. Su Ming, who was in high spirits, did not feel any fatigue at all. All that's left is a simple debugging. I will engrave the magic traces of you, me, Ryder, and Sakura into it. At that time, the technique will automatically identify which enemies are. Su Ming nodded and stopped insisting. He glanced at the clock on the wall and found that there was still some time until dark. Well, it just so happens that I'm going to purchase supplies for the next period of time. Medea frowned. It was not a good thing for the master to act at will during the Holy Grail War. Especially when she could not accompany Su Ming. In this regard, she could only look at Medusa. Mei Dusha nodded slightly in response. Rest assured. I will protect him. Su Ming couldn't help but be a little surprised when he saw this scene. When did the two of them become such a tacit understanding? That's it, I know. Then let her have a good rest and hope for a speedy recovery. With the sound of the door closing, Su Ming not only let out a long sigh of relief. Building the magic temple did not make him feel tired, but dealing with those enthusiastic senior sisters and teachers made him physically and mentally exhausted. But fortunately, he and Sakura's vacation has been approved. In the following period, she can concentrate on dealing with the Holy Grail War. Um, I didn't expect to meet you here. Just when Su Ming was about to leave, an unexpected figure came towards him. When he saw the other party, the other party also saw him and stood there. Yo, what a coincidence, Tasaka. Su Ming took the initiative to raise his right hand and said hello. They are both heads of the Yusan family, and they are all in Fuyuki City. It is impossible for the two of them not to know each other. It's just that because of Sakura and Shenji, the relationship between the two the relationship can't be said to be very harmonious. The afterglow of the setting sun shines on the corridor, weaving shadows between the two. Cut. Tosaka Rin snorted disdainfully. Su Ming was not angry and walked straight past Tosaka Rin with a smile. However, just when he was about to leave directly, the girl behind him suddenly spoke. 
Did you participate too? Su Ming stopped and turned around to find Tasaka Rin looking at him intently. Have you summoned the servant? It's not a pleasant thing to pry into other people's privacy at will, Tasaka. Su Ming neither admitted nor denied it. Ha! I have no interest in prying into the privacy of a guy like you. I just hope you don't involve Sakura. Tasaka Rin crossed her arms, her tone full of arrogance. I have to say, her posture was really unpleasant. Su Ming sighed silently in his heart, and forced her to teach her a lesson. Impulse. So what? Tasaka. Don't forget that Sakura is also an excellent magician. Her magic talent is no worse than yours. Although Sakura is usually as gentle as water in front of him. Sakura has imaginary attributes and inherited the Meitu family's magic seal that he improved. In terms of magical attainments alone, the arrogant and powerful person in front of him is, the lady may not be able to compare with Sakura. If you dare to try to involve Sakura, I will take you out first. After Rin Tosaka said a harsh word, he turned around and left without looking back. Su Ming looked at the other person's leaving figure and rubbed his forehead helplessly. Is this a declaration of war on him? Hey, it's all. Tokiomi's fault. Did you quarrel again? Meitu kun, you'd better give way to Tasaka. Su Ming turned around and saw that Shuru Emiya was standing not far away with his senior. What kind of luck is this? He just came out to take a leave of absence and unexpectedly met two master candidates. Emiya kun, it's best not to come out at night these days. After thinking for a moment, Su Ming gave up the idea of letting Medusa kill the opponent directly. There were too many witnesses. He didn't want to attract the attention of other masters yet. Anyway, there was still some time before the Holy Grail War started, and there were many opportunities. As long as he was around, it was absolutely impossible for Shuru Emiya to summon King Dumao. However, before leaving, he still reminded him with a kindness. Looking at Su Ming's leaving back, Shuru Emiya was stunned for a moment. Somewhat confused. Ryder, are you sure you didn't go to the wrong place? With some regret, he let go of the hand around Medusa's waist. When Su Ming raised his head, he was stunned. I'm sure. Medusa took back Pegasus, the Pegasus, and replied affirmatively. The entire ancestral house of the Meitu family has been wrapped in a transparent barrier. From the outside, it looks the same as before, but once you step inside when you enter the barrier, you will find that the space here is emitting a dim scarlet light. In addition, the barrier also has an effect similar to his noble phantasm field infinite sky space. There are no unrecorded magical properties. No existence can reach the mansion in the center of the barrier across space. And those existences without magic power will be suppressed by the noble phantasm, seal of others' blood temple, as soon as they enter. It can be said that there are 360 all-round defense with no blind spots. Even if a servant breaks in rashly, he will not be able to escape unscathed. With the protection of this temple, the safety of Sakura and Medea is guaranteed. He can also take more flexible measures action strategy. Medea is also very satisfied with this magic temple, not because of its effectiveness. But because this is the first home she and Su Ming have built together. While she is happy, Medea also forgot another extremely important thing. That is about Su Ming's summons as a servant. After all, she did not come directly in response to Su Ming's summons, but was picked up by Su Ming, by chance, after losing her master. At home. Theoretically, Su Ming still retains the qualification to summon servants. As long as Su Ming can provide enough magic power, there will be no problem in contracting two servants. In terms of Su Ming's terrifying magic power reserves, she feels there is no problem at all. Besides, as a magician, she is not good at frontal combat. Once Ryder is entangled, Su Ming's situation will become very dangerous. Compared to the servants, the master is still too fragile. My dear, have you decided what servant to summon? After hearing Medea's question, Su Ming lowered his head and fell into deep thought. Even Sakura and Medusa looked at him with curiosity in their eyes. I want to know what kind of servant Su Ming would choose given his terrifying talent. After all, with Su Ming's astonishing supply of magic power, no matter what kind of servant he is, he can exert the combat power of his heyday. Now according to the information I have, it is confirmed that the seven servants summoned include Berserker. 
The blue knight who was chasing you before should be Lancer. Su Ming stretched out his hand and pressed two fingers. Then he looked at Medea and Medusa. Next are you two, Rider and Castor, Magician. It is doubtful whether Archer, Knight of the Bow, was summoned. After all, so much time has passed. It's normal for his memory to have some deviations. Then what is certain is that Saber, Sword Knight, and Assassin, Assassin. Medea if I remember correctly. As a caster, you have the ability to exploit the loopholes in the Holy Grail system to summon a servant in violation of regulations, right? Su Ming's face showed a confident smile. In the original plot line, Medea summoned the existence of Sasaki Kojura by violating the rules. Can you still do this? Sakura looked at Medea in disbelief. Even Medusa's face showed a hint of astonishment. Medea nodded slightly. Theoretically it's possible. However, since it is an illegal summoning, the summoned servants will be greatly restricted. In addition to being weakened, various unexpected situations may occur. Such as not being able to move freely and so on. Hearing Medea's explanation, a look of disappointment appeared on Sakura's face. With Medea's presence here in the Meitu family, there is no need for an additional servant. If she cannot follow Su Ming, that would be meaningless. Unexpectedly, Su Ming suddenly spoke. That's it. It's up to you, Medea, to summon a servant. But, before Medea finished speaking, she was interrupted by Su Ming holding her hand. Rest assured. Just call and leave the rest to me. Since our advantage is already big enough, what can we do if we make it bigger? What about the media? It seems that there is no suitable collection of holy relics at home. As the de facto mistress of the Meitu family, Sakura is very familiar with the family's collection. After all, the holy relics are not something that can be found on the street. Even the Meitu family doesn't have many. Among them, the best holy relics have been taken by her. Come summon Medusa. Let me solve this problem. But before that, I'll help you get back to your prime. Medea blushed, and Sakura lowered her head shyly. As people who have been through it, they naturally understood what Su Ming's words meant. Su Ming looked at the three people in front of him, and what he meant was, who of you will come first? Medea Shah immediately backed away slowly, her figure disappeared into the room and she actually ran away. I'm going to cook first. Sakura also fled quickly, leaving only Medea who couldn't run away in time because Su Ming held her hand. She had to close her eyes as if resigned to her fate. The pointed ears under the hood were stained by shyness. It turned blood red. After an unknown amount of time, Ying, who is going to cook, returned to Su Ming's room and secretly put her ear to the door. However, before she could react, the door opened. A hand pulled her in. Wait a moment. Why? Where is Miss Medea? She has already prepared to summon the magic circle. Next, there is a new round of demon replenishment. In the basement, a huge summoning circle has been built. Start now. There was still a trace of flushing on Medea's face, and her magic power was more abundant than ever at this moment. Su Ming stepped forward and held her hand. Take it easy. Leave all the rest to me. Medusa and Sakura stood far away, on guard, to prevent any accidents from happening. As the mantras were recited, Su Ming also silently performed the great heroic spirit summoning technique. A huge pedestal shining with colorful light slowly appeared in their minds. Looking at the names engraved on it, Medea suddenly realized what it was, the heroic spirit seat. How is this possible? The heroic spirit seat is not only independent from the world, even separated from the timeline. Even the summoning ceremony of the servant is to appeal to the heroic spirits in the heroic soul seat through the great holy grail. How can someone directly observe the heroic soul seat from the inside, and in making a gesture of making a random choice? Medea opened her eyes in disbelief and stared at Su Ming beside her. Her inherent knowledge was once again shattered by this man. In her eyes, Su Ming's figure seemed to be shrouded in its like being in a mist. Mysterious. Powerful. Unfathomable. I have begun to wonder, how far can you go? Medea whispered in a voice that only she could hear. But what does it matter? This is the partner she chose, a partner who promised never to abandon her. Su Ming did not notice anything strange about Medea, but focused on scanning the throne of heroes. One by one, legendary names appeared in his eyes. Nero, King Hassan, Jean d'Arc, Tamamose, Ureshkigal, and were quickly omitted by him. 
there was no doubt that Saber's job was one he wanted to keep for himself. Then the only one chosen for Medea is assassin. Generally speaking, the only assassin that can be summoned in Fuyuki City is Hassan of all generations, and Sasaki Kojira is an exception. However, as long as they meet the two job requirements, suitable for covert operations, or committed murder, they can theoretically be summoned. In addition, considering the special nature of the servants in this Holy Grail War, Suming already had an extremely suitable candidate in mind. After a while, he finally found the name he wanted among the vast sea of heroic spirits. Come out. Answer my call. Feeling the resistance coming from him, Su Ming gritted his teeth and couldn't help but increase the magic output. Forced summoning. Suddenly, the magic circle in front of him flashed a dazzling purple light. The violent explosion blew away everything around him. It stirred up countless smoke and dust. Sakura opened the magic shield and looked nervously at the center of the explosion. Did it fail? No. Medusa was just stunned for a moment before blocking in front of Sakura, with her hand pressed on the mask on her face. In the center of the smoke, she noticed an extremely powerful aura. When the smoke slowly dispersed Go, this extremely powerful contracted servant finally revealed her lineup. She was dressed in purple gauze clinging to her snow-white skin, and her ruby-like eyes exuded endless majesty. She is the queen of the kingdom of shadows, the lord of the alien realm and the demonic realm, the god-level god-killer, Scathich. Since he wanted to play, Su Ming decided to play a bigger game. He simply summoned this demigod directly. I believe Ku Chu Lin will definitely be very moved after seeing his teacher. However, in the next second, Su Ming understands what it means to be extremely happy and sad. Was it you who summoned me from the kingdom of shadows? Although Skathich's tone was very calm, Su Ming still heard a hint of anger. Only then did he realize that his behavior was like waking up Skathich, who was sleeping soundly. After clearly indicating that he wanted to stay in bed, he directly pulled her out of the bed. Su Ming, be careful. Her condition is different from ours. Medusa's voice suddenly sounded. Su Ming suddenly realized that he seemed to have missed one point. That is that Skathich is different from most heroic spirits. She has not experienced death since she has become a semi-deity. Doesn't that mean that she has to force herself? What was pulled over instead of the projection was, the real body. Arun quickly magnified in his eyes. Suddenly, the entire basement fell into a panic. I already understand the general situation. How should I put it? Actually, I wasn't particularly angry. I will cooperate with your actions from now on until the end of this holy grail war. But the magic of forcibly summoning heroic spirits should not be used lightly in the future. If you meet some people with malicious intentions, they may attack you directly. Skathich held hot tea and warned Su Ming seriously. Medea, who was lying on the gun for no apparent reason, moved her ears unconsciously. It was obvious that she was one of those malicious people mentioned by Skathich. Su Ming nodded. Understand. As early as the First Holy Grail War, the command spell system had not yet been developed. There was more than one incident where a summoned servant directly stabbed the master to death. But he chose to summon Skathich, which was also knowing the character of the Queen of the Kingdom of Shadows, she was like a gentle elder sister. Even though she was angry, Skathich only used runes to express her dissatisfaction slightly. It did not really hurt him. This is also the reason why he didn't choose the title killing King Hassan. Fortunately, he didn't suffer in vain. You observed an original rune and understood the complete original rune. Original rune, the real written word created by God. Each one has incredible power and can also be used in combination. It is another extremely powerful magic that is different from the magic of the age of gods and modern magic. It is far from comparable to the modern rune magic revived by Aozaki Orange. Unexpectedly, Odin hung himself on the world tree for nine days and nine nights to obtain the original runes, and he was able to master it so easily. Looking at Su Ming who was deep in thought, Skathich thought that his actions just now were too harsh on the young man in front of him. His eyes couldn't help but soften. Does it hurt? Let me help you treat it. As he said that, he raised his hand and planned to perform rune magic again. Su Ming, who was immersed in the permutation and combination game, did not react and subconsciously stopped him. Need not. I can do it myself. 
a complete original rune was outlined by him, and with a flash of white light. Su Ming felt a sense of relief. Skathich's hand stayed in mid-air, and a trace of shock flashed across her eyes. The original runes are not some undisclosed secret. Besides her, there are also many heroic spirits who master the original runes. But it is not difficult to tell from Su Ming's slightly jerky technique that the young man in front of him has clearly just learned the original runes. The world always praises her beauty and strength, but often ignores her wisdom. For Skathich, who has mastered the causes and consequences of all events, it is not difficult to deduce the truth. In other words, just watching me use the original rune. Skathich's heart was filled with turmoil. At the same time, there was a touch of curiosity and expectation in his eyes. If it were him, maybe it might be possible to realize his wish. Medea and Medusa seemed unusually calm. It would be better to say that they were numb to Su Ming's terrifying talent. So what are your plans next? And how much information do you have about your opponents? After a brief period of astonishment, Skathich came to his senses and asked two key questions. Let me go first. After the debugging of the temple was completed, I simply scanned Fuyuki City using detection magic. Medea waved her hands lightly, and with the activation of the technique, the terrain projection of the entire Fuyuki City appeared in front of everyone. There are four places in Fuyuki City where there are barriers or abnormal magic fluctuations, and it is impossible to detect the specific situation. They are a forest on the outskirts of Fuyuki City, a church in the center of the city, an abandoned mansion, and here. Su Ming looked in the direction of Medea's finger. The last place was the ancestral home of the Tasaka family. In this way, all the forces involved in the Holy Grail War had been found. This forest is the residence of the Einsburn family, and a large number of defensive techniques are deployed in it. The master is Ilyasviel von Einsburn. The servant is Berserker, whose true identity is the great hero Hercules, the son of Zeus in Greek mythology. The noble phantasm is Twelve Trials, which must be killed twelve times in a short period of time to completely eliminate it. Everyone's expressions changed when they heard this. They didn't expect that the first servant would be such a troublesome guy. No one would question the authenticity of Su Ming's information. Su Ming's fingers moved to the church. This is the stronghold of the Holy Church, and its supervisor, Kotamine Kire, survived the last Holy Grail War. It has melee combat capabilities that are no less than those of a servant. But he's not the point. At the end of the last Holy Grail War, Archer obtained a physical body and stayed in the world. His true identity is Gilgamesh, the hero king of ancient Babylon. It's still unclear what impact he will have on this Holy Grail War. Su Ming was not 100% sure that Mr. Jin, an enthusiastic citizen, was hiding in the church. However, he was certain that given his personality, he would definitely get involved. Skathich's brows couldn't help but frown, and there was another difficult question. A very interesting character. Whether it's Hercules or Gilgamesh, they both have strengths far beyond their specifications. The abandoned mansion should be the temporary position chosen by Bazit, and the servant is your disciple, see you Chilane. Su. Ming looked at Skathich and said cautiously, hesitated and then added. Terribly sorry. After hearing this familiar name, Skathich was slightly absent-minded. But she soon came back to her senses, gently fiddled with the ends of her hair and smiled calmly at Su Ming. No need to apologize. It is a blessing to be able to meet the deceased again in this way. At the same time, she also understood why Su Ming would forcefully summon her. Seeing that Skathich was not angry, Su Ming also breathed a sigh of relief. He pointed his finger at the last place. Tasaka Rin, who is good at gem magic, probably hasn't started summoning followers yet. After Su Ming's analysis, several people present also understood the current situation. So, what are you going to do next? Just behead the master. Skathich stared at the map with a thoughtful look on his face. After a moment, he raised his head and asked Su Ming. Su Ming shook his head gently. Neither Ilya nor Bazit are easy to kill. Magicians they have always been a group of insidious and cunning guys, and it is not a wise choice to directly enter the opponent's base camp. He has no doubt that the opponent has laid traps and is waiting for someone to take the bait. As for the only Tosaka Rin who is not protected by a magic position, she has not summoned the servant yet, 
even if she kills it now, the command spell will be transferred to others. I plan to summon Saber first before Tasaka summons the servant. Before the Holy Grail War officially begins, let's maximize our side's advantages. I already know the whereabouts of the media holy relic required for the summoning. With Skathich's reminder, Suming does not plan to use the great heroic spirit summoning technique again this time. It's not too late, let's act quickly, Medea stood up and said. Medusa also walked directly in front of Su Ming. Su Ming immediately understood and put his arms around Medusa's slender waist. After many times of running in, the two of them did not look like each other. It was so unfamiliar at first. At least he could feel that Medusa no longer tensed her muscles all the time, and seemed to have adapted to his presence. Then I will go with you too. Skathich also stood up. With a roar from the Pegasus, the horse carried the two of them straight into the sky. Skathich also followed closely. According to the results of the reconnaissance magic feedback, Emma Yashuru is in his home. Okay, excuse me, Medea. After reconfirming the readiness of the information, Suming hung up the phone and gently patted Medusa in front of him. The two landed on the roof not far from Emiya's house. Just knock him unconscious and bring him out. Remember, never let him notice the danger. Su Ming warned Medusa cautiously. He didn't want Saber to be accidentally summoned because of his stimulation. Medusa nodded to show that she understood, but when she was about to sneak in, her expression suddenly changed. Two handles the wooming dagger appeared in her hand and flew away the incoming spear. She bent down and looked ahead warily. The powerful muscles held up the already tight black spiritual clothes, outlining an extremely exaggerated line. Curve. Huh. Not that woman. Sorry, I accidentally made a mistake. Su Ming looked away and looked around, and finally found the owner of the voice on the roof not far away. His whole body was wrapped in blue armor, with a few strands of bangs floating randomly, and a ponytail of the same color. It was placed on the back of his head. There was also a scarlet spear on his shoulder, and the tip of the spear flashed a cold light in the moonlight. See you Chilain. Su Ming recognized this cool and fierce dog at a glance. Unexpectedly, he will meet the other party here. However, he did not feel any surprise. Although the Holy Grail War has not started, the other party is quite active in Fuyuki City. It is not unusual to meet him by chance. But since we bumped into each other, we can only blame you for being unlucky. Si Yu Chilain held a gun on his arm, with a provocative smile on his face. Su Ming, please step back. Medusa, who was standing in front of Su Ming, was about to challenge, but she felt a hand gently pressing on her waist. She couldn't help but look at Su Ming beside him in confusion. Huh. This battle doesn't require your intervention, Ryder. Su Ming looked at Si Yu Chilain not far away. Just get rid of you, assassin. Skathich's figure slowly emerged. He glanced at Su Ming with gratitude, and then looked at his former disciple. What's going on? There are actually two servants. Si Yu Chilain put away his previous frivolity and shook his head. The expression on his face became serious as he clutched the spear in his hand. But even so, his fighting spirit still did not diminish at all. On the contrary, his desire increased. However, when he saw Skathich's face clearly, he was stunned. In situ. Teacher, is that you? Unconsciously, Si Yu Chilain's voice had a hint of trembling. Long time no see, Shao Cholan. The same blood red spear also appeared in Skathich's hand, pointing pointedly at Si Yu Chilain. Su Ming couldn't help but look at it a few more times. The noble phantasm, spear of penetrating death soaring, can be said to be Si Yu Chilain's treasure. An upgraded version of the death thorn piercing spear has the same causal effect. The spear in Ku Chilain's hand was actually given to him by Skathich. The frightening thing is that a noble phantom like this the queen of the kingdom of shadows didn't know how many weapons she had. Just when Su Ming was stunned, the master and disciple had already exchanged hands. Teacher, I will not show mercy. Then let me see how far your martial arts has grown. After the words fell, the two of them moved almost at the same time. At the moment when the two spears collided, the air wave shattered the glass of the surrounding houses instantly. The spears swung at high speed have exceeded the range visible to the naked eye, and are only produced when they collide. The sparks were vaguely visible. I wonder how much the aftermath of this battle will cost. 
The bill will not be sent to the Meitu family, right? Su Ming looked at the messy scene and sighed silently. Let's keep moving too, Ryder. The fierce battle also alarmed Shuru Emiya, who had not yet fallen asleep. Nani. What happened? Was there an earthquake? What are those people doing? Shuru Emiya, who luckily escaped the broken glass, walked to the window, looked up and saw this incredible scene. Emiya Kun, knowing too much is not a blessing. The voice from behind suddenly woke up Shuru Emiya. He turned around quickly with a surprised expression on his face. Meitu Kun, how could you? However, before he could finish his words, he felt a heavy blow to the back of his head and passed out. What a nice shot, Ryder. Su Ming's eyelids twitched slightly, and then he walked to and squatted down in front of Emiya Shuru who was collapsed on the ground. He put his hand on Emiya Shuru's chest and began to construct the technique. Hearing Su Ming's praise, Maidu Sha also breathed a sigh of relief. Just now, she was worried that Su Ming would hate her because her methods were too violent. After all, men like petite and gentle girls. After a moment, Su Ming suddenly opened his eyes and pulled hard. Along with the white the holy light lit up, and he slowly pulled out a wide golden sword scabbard from Shuru Emiya's body. The holy relic, Avalon scabbard, was obtained. Although there were a few twists and turns in the process, fortunately, the final goal was achieved. The battle between Su Ming, Skathich and Lancer has alarmed other masters and servants. It's best to leave quickly if you don't want to get involved with them. Hearing Medea's reminder, Su Ming quickly put Avalon away. Then he asked Medusa to throw Emiya Shuru into a safe corner. As for whether the other party will follow his original trajectory and become a righteous person. His partner is not within the scope of his consideration. Perhaps, being able to take this opportunity to return to ordinary life like Shinji is another kind of luck for Emiya Shuru. Let's go find Skathich. Medusa nodded, grabbed Su Ming and left through the broken window. On the street, the battle between Skathich and Si Yu Chilane was still going on. Teacher, have you become stronger again? During the battle, Si Yu Chilane complained breathlessly. Compared to his strenuous effort, Skathich seemed to be able to do it with ease, and even his breath did not become disordered. It was obvious that he was not trying his best. This is also helpless. When I see a strong person, I want to challenge him, and he becomes stronger and stronger unintentionally. Ku Chilane smiled bitterly, resisting Skathich's attack with difficulty. So far in the battle, he has not released his own treasure. It's not because he doesn't want to, but because he understands this magic gun inherited from Skathich. It's hard to work on it. In this way, it will be more difficult for me to realize the teacher's wish. However, I will continue to work hard. Su Ming's figure slowly appeared in Skathich's mind. I don't know what he thought of, but a trace of tenderness flashed in his ruby eyes. No need, maybe I have already met the person who can fulfill my wish. If he is that young man, he should have the ability to usher in his death as a human being. Si Yu Chilane was a little surprised. He naturally knew what his teacher's wish was, which was to usher in his death as a human being. But he also knowing the power of the teacher. Can anyone really kill the teacher who has become a demigod? A primitive rune struck and interrupted Ku Chilane's thinking, and he avoided it with many dangers. Sorry. I'm sorry to disturb the reminiscence between master and apprentice. But I'm afraid we don't have much time, Skathich. Su Ming jumped off Medusa's back and said to Skathich apologetically. Skathich shook his head slightly. No need to be sorry, I'm already satisfied. So, let's make a quick decision. Su Ming turned around and looked at Ku Chilane who was not far away. Likewise, Ku Chilane was also looking at him carefully. Original rune. Is he the teacher's new disciple? No. Judging from his condition, he should be the teacher's master. His eyes turned to Medusa. Will he face the joint attack of the teacher and this mysterious servant next? Skathich alone is already an insurmountable mountain for him. If he joins go up to the mysterious servant next to him. However, to his surprise, Medusa stood there with no intention of getting involved. On the contrary, Su Ming moved his wrist and walked out. What a joke, Master also wants to participate in the battle between heroic spirits. For a moment, Si Yu Chilane even thought that Su Ming was crazy. The direct difference between a magician and a servant is not the smallest. 
There is only one end for any magician when facing a servant, and that is death. Like Bazet will not even appear directly on the battlefield. Instead, he will only remotely command and provide him with magic power. Of course not. Su Ming looked directly into Si Yu Chilain's eyes. He had long wanted to test the gap between his own strength and that of his followers. However, it was a pity that Medusa and Medea would not seriously fight him. Kahal is a little too strong. Si Yu Chilain in front of him is just right. In terms of strength, he is not as perverted as Jin Shining and Hercules, but he will bless him with absolute murderous intent. Good chance. Just kill him. Hearing the instructions coming from his ears, Si Yu Chilain had no choice but to raise his gun and point it at Su Ming. Since you are seeking death, you can't blame me. Without any hesitation, he stabbed him with his spear. Su Ming stood motionless, as if he was frightened. Is that all? Si Yu Chilain couldn't help but feel a little disappointed. He thought he was a strong man, but he didn't. Thinking that he was just a big talker. However, in the next second, Su Ming raised his head and looked at Si Yu Chilain with a smile, and slowly raised his right hand. He placed his middle finger on his index finger. Field expansion infinite airspace. The world seemed to have stopped at this moment. A wave of light quickly spread out from under his feet, and all the colors in its path were stripped away, leaving only black and white. No. Si Yu Chilain suddenly realized that something was wrong. Unfortunately, it was too late. The domain spread far faster than his reaction. No matter how hard he tried, the tip of the spear could never hit Su Ming who was so close. It was as if there was a chasm between the two of them. Not only that, he felt like he was being tightly wrapped by an invisible wall, squeezing together from all sides. How is it possible? Is this really an effect that modern magic can achieve? Even servants are not so perverted ability. You will die. If you don't escape quickly, you will definitely die. His intuition issued a warning frantically. What happened? How is it going? Have you killed the enemy master? Seemingly aware of Ku Chilain's bad state, Bazet asked anxiously about the situation. However, under the confinement of space, Ku Chilain could not make even the simplest sound. Bazet did not hesitate, and immediately used the command spell to forcefully recall Si Yu Chilain. Seeing Si Yu Chilain's figure slowly disappearing, Su Ming felt a little regretful in his heart. Tell Bazet that Kotamine Kirei has a servant by his side. Since we can't keep Si Yu Chilain here, it would be better to make this Holy Grail War more interesting. It would be great if Bazet and Kotamine Kirei could both lose. I will. Ku Chilain's heart tightened, and he didn't understand why Su Ming knew his master's name. However, he still gave an affirmative reply before disappearing completely. Su Ming breathed a long sigh of relief and raised his hand to unlock the domain. The feeling of weakness came from him, causing him to shake involuntarily. Before he could stand still, he was embraced by a tall figure. Skathich sighed quietly. Just leave it to me. It's okay, it feels good to be willful once in a while. Su Ming responded calmly to the gaze of Skathich's ruby-like eyes and allowed the other party to pick him up. After looking at each other for a long time, it was Skathich who finally looked away first. Su Ming smiled proudly, buried his head in Skathich's hair. A faint fragrance lingered on the tip of his nose. Skathich, I just want to prove that I have the ability to fulfill your wish. But before that, please have more expectations for this world. As for the curse on you, I promise to do my best to remove it. Skathich only felt her originally calm heart suddenly throb. No one had said similar words to her in thousands of years. Even the many disciples she had taught carefully were just following her I want to kill myself with my will. Is this a confession to myself? But, this feeling doesn't seem to be the same. Skathich gave a soft, hem, and if Su Ming hadn't been pressed against her body, he would have been almost unnoticeable amidst the howling of the cold wind. Su Ming wanted to say something more, but the Matong family's mansion had already appeared in the eyes of the three of them. All the best. Looking at Sakura and Medea who came out to greet him. Su Ming stood up from Skathich's arms and took out the Avalon scabbard to comfort him. Do you need a break? Medea quickly moved her eyes away from the Avalon scabbard and returned to Su Ming. No, I'm fine. Let's hold the summoning ceremony first. Su Ming declined this proposal. Although he had fully replenished the magic power of Medea and Sakura before that, 
the remaining magic power was drained out by field infinite airspace. But just after Skathich's during the moment of resting in his arms, he had recovered some magic power. At least it was enough to perform the summoning ceremony. After all, he had a total of 1,200 complete magic circuits. Then I'll prepare the ceremony materials. Sakura, please come and help me. Medea took the Avalon scabbard from Su Ming's hand and hurried towards the basement with Sakura. Su Ming was about to follow, but he felt that he was suddenly pulled from behind. As soon as he turned his head, he felt there was a delicate touch on my cheek. I'll look forward to it. Skathich's figure then disappeared. Su Ming gently touched the spot on his cheek where Skathich had kissed him, and couldn't help but breathe a sigh of relief. He was really afraid that Skathich would he kept fighting with the wish to welcome death. Fortunately, the problem was solved now. Su Ming was about to step forward when he looked up and found Medusa standing in the corner looking at him. If you ignore the eye patch, it should be just watch. Everything that happened just now was unsurprisingly heard by her. That. Just as Su Ming was about to explain, Medusa also disappeared. Hum, why do I suddenly feel like I'm at risk of being stabbed? But whether it is Medea, Sakura or Skathich, the bond with them is extremely special. Probably not. Shaking his head and quickly getting rid of this terrible thought, Su Ming followed everyone into the basement. A standard summoning ritual spell has been arranged. The scabbard of Avalon was quietly placed in the center of the technique. Su Ming, who had already had two summoning experiences, did not feel the slightest bit nervous. But this time he did not use the great heroic spirit summoning technique, but chanted according to the standard spell. Its foundation is silver and iron, and the Grand Duke who made a contract with the foundation stone. The surging wind is blocked by four walls, closing the doors in all directions. Release yourself from the crown and wander the three forks leading to the kingdom. Be full. Be full. Be full. Be full. Be full. As Su Ming chanted, the originally dazzling white light burned as if infected by fire. The howling wind made the skirts of Medea and Sakura clank in the distance. Even the previous the departing Skathich and Medusa were also attracted by this huge movement. It was so powerful just in the summoning stage, which showed that the servant Su Ming wanted to summon this time was not an ordinary heroic spirit. They couldn't help but also somewhat curious. Declare. Your body is under my command, and my fate rests on your sword. I hereby swear that I am the one who has accomplished all the good deeds in this world, and I am the one who has spread all the evil deeds in this world. You have been haunted by the three great speaking spirits for seven days. From the wheel of restraint, guardian of the scales. The surging magic power surged out, and the light became extremely dazzling. It seemed like this was the only light left in the entire basement. Under the gaze of everyone, a not-so-tall figure stepped out of the light. The magic circle also dimmed. Her long golden hair was tied neatly on her head, and her blue and white armor was also put on her body in an orderly manner. The slightly childish face seems to be the most perfect creation in the world. Even the most picky person cannot find a single flaw. Answer your call. I am. The girl raised the invisible sword in her hand and looked at Su Ming. Are you my master? She still had the voice of a girl, but her tone carried the majesty of a king. Looking at the familiar girl in front of him, Su Ming could be sure that he was not wrong. I am your master, so I will be entrusting you with this from now on. Please give me some advice. Su Ming solemnly stretched out his hand to Artoria. The others also looked at the girl in front of them, their eyes full of curiosity. Medea's eyes revealed a kind of love. Only Medusa his expression is a little strange. He really still likes petite girls. I will never betray your trust. Artoria also reached out and held his hand, but what Su Ming didn't expect was that the moment the two of them held each other's hands, he was pulled behind him by Artoria. Artoria raised her hand invisible with his sword, he carefully scrutinized the women in the basement. So, master, could you also please explain what happened to them? She retained the memory of the Fourth Holy Grail War and immediately went into a state of alert after discovering the identities of Skathich, Medea and Medusa's servants. Could it be that her master was being coerced? Artoria couldn't help but subconsciously clench the sword of victory in her hand. Her actions immediately changed the eyes of Medusa and others. The wombing dagger and the spear of death also appeared in Medusa respectively. 
in the hands of Shah and Skathich. Let him go. Skathich scolded in a deep voice. Although Medusa did not make a sound, her bent body undoubtedly showed her attitude. Put your weapons away. Seeing that a fight was about to start within him, Su Ming hurriedly stood up to stop him. Saber. They are all their own people. Um. Arturia looked shocked, but she still followed Su Ming's advice and put away the sword of victory. Su Ming wiped the cold sweat from his forehead and breathed a sigh of relief. Let me explain it to you. After a while, after Su Ming's explanation, Arturia finally understood the current situation. I see. You first contracted Castor, then summoned Assassin against the rules, and finally summoned me. In other words, we have two masters and four servants from the beginning. After finishing speaking, Artoria fell into silence. As early as when she was summoned, she was actually planning how to conduct this Holy Grail war. However, she did not expect this to be the case. The four disciples. A total of four servants. There were only seven servants in the entire Holy Grail war. And judging from the aura they exuded just now, each of them has a strength that is no less than their own. This is basically enough. The victory of the Holy Grail War has been sealed, and victory has been declared in advance. Of course, Su Ming would never do such a thing as popping champagne at half time. Do you still have any questions? Su Ming looked at the silent Artoria and asked. Artoria hesitated for a moment, staring at Su Ming closely with her green eyes. Have. There is only one Holy Grail, how should we distribute it after winning the Holy Grail War? I have a long-cherished wish that must be fulfilled by the Holy Grail. Su Ming couldn't help but was stunned. He really hadn't thought about this problem. He only needed to participate in the Holy Grail War to achieve his goal. This was a problem. Ying was the first to speak and broke the silence. My wish is to help my brother obtain Holy Grail. Skathich followed and said, My wish has come true. After saying that, he looked at Su Ming with gentle eyes. Mine too. Medea reluctantly moved her eyes away from Artoria and echoed. I just need to observe the Holy Grail. What about you, Ryder? Su Ming looked at Medusa in the corner. Medusa shook her head gently to show that she had no wish either. Well, now the problem is solved. We will be a family from now on, so let's introduce ourselves. Su Ming clapped his hands and suggested to everyone. Rolling over. It doesn't exist for him. My name is Arturia Pendragon, the Night King of Great Britain. Arturia was the first to speak. This is her character. Once she chooses to trust her companions, she will have no reservations. It is also her unique pride. She is not only a king, but also a knight. Skathich. Altoria was shocked. Although she had just realized how powerful Skathich was, she didn't expect that the other party was actually the legendary queen of the Kingdom of Shadows. In the era of her survival, the other party was already a legend. Medusa, Medusa was as concise and concise as ever. Another goddess. Artoria looked at Medea. Like you, I was once only human. Medea. Medea responded with a smile. After exchanging real names, the previous tense atmosphere no longer existed. You've been busy all night, must you be tired, my dear? Go and have a rest. Just leave little Saber to me to take care of her. I'll prepare her room and clothes. Medea took Artoria's hand and walked out. Artoria hesitated for a moment before letting her take her away. Looking at the playful smile on the corner of Medea's mouth. Su Ming couldn't help but have a bad premonition in his heart. Could it be that Medea has awakened some strange hobby? The next morning, Su Ming woke up from a burst of noise. After getting up and getting dressed, and covering Sakura with a quilt, he followed the sound and came to the courtyard. The morning sun shone on Artoria's flawless and pretty face, and her golden hair was neatly tied back with a blue hairband, shining brightly. Her petite body was barely wrapped in a white shirt. The lower body is a blue slim fitting long skirt. Su Ming couldn't help but be stunned for a moment, but there was no way he could be connected with the legendary king of knights from this outfit. At the same time, I secretly breathed a sigh of relief. He originally thought that Medea would prepare some weird clothes for Artoria. Sensing Su Ming's gaze, the girl also stopped swinging her sword. Good morning, master. Did I disturb you? Su Ming shook his head slightly. Just call me by my name. Su Ming. Artoria hesitated for a moment and called tentatively. By the way, Saber. 
could you please teach me the art of swordsmanship? Looking at Su Ming suddenly became interested in the long sword in Artoria's hand. Hem, this is no problem. Artoria looked at Su Ming doubtfully. It is easy to see from the huge amount of magic power emerging from his body that Su Ming himself is an extremely good magician. She doesn't understand why she is interested in swordsmanship. It's also good to learn some martial arts. The magician is still in some danger if he is approached by someone. Skathich came out of nowhere and suggested. In fact, Su Ming himself thought so too. The battle with Si Yu Chilain gave him a general understanding of his current strength. Even according to the previous calculated from the player's panel, his magic power is at least A plus level. However, his shortcoming is also very obvious, and that is melee combat. You can't just go up and open it up every time you fight. Let me show you the posture of holding the sword first, and then the movement, breathing and force exertion techniques. Watch carefully. Artoria held the sword tightly and took a deep breath. Since it was a demonstration, she swung the sword very slowly this time to make it easier for Su Ming to learn. Su Ming stared at the girl's chest, paying attention to the rhythm of the rise and fall. You observed Artoria's breathing and created the knight's breathing technique. You observed Artoria's body and understood the power of the dragon. You observed Artoria's sword skills and understood the secret of the sword. Closing square bracket. Success. Su Ming hurriedly concealed his inner ecstasy. Unexpectedly, with just a demonstration, he learned three skills from Artoria. Knight's breathing method is a sustainable growth practice method. Simply put, it absorbs the surrounding energy with breathing to temper your body. The most important thing is that its upper limit is unlimited. The secret of the sword, includes all swordsmanship in the past, present, and future. As for the, dragon power, it is exactly what it means. Through the strengthening of magic power, his muscular strength can rival that of a giant dragon in a short period of time. Considering that in the legend, the king of knights will transform into a red dragon to protect her country, and Arturia does have the heart of a red dragon. It's no surprise that he's able to grasp this skill. If you are a beginner, it is normal that you cannot remember it after reading it once. Artoria looked at Su Ming who was deep in thought and comforted him. No, I've learned that. Su Ming came back to his senses and reached out to take the sword of victory in Artoria's hand. Be careful. Worried that Su Ming might hurt her, Artoria hurriedly tried to stop her. Unexpectedly, a huge force came and the sword of victory in his hand was snatched away by Su Ming. How is this possible? Arter there was a look of astonishment on Leah's face. Even though she had not used all her strength just now, Su Ming was not able to suppress it with her own strength. But the scene that followed shocked her even more. The sword of victory was waved wantonly in Su Ming's hand as if it were nothing. No matter whether it was the posture of holding the sword, the angle at which the force was exerted, or the exquisite swordsmanship, even she could not find any flaws. If it were not confirmed, Su Ming was her master. She would even think that he was a heroic spirit who was praised by the world for his swordsmanship. Skathich was also shocked and stared at this scene with her mouth open. Compared to Artoria, she was even more skilled. Clear. Just before, Su Ming didn't know any martial arts. In terms of martial arts alone, now even she, the queen of the kingdom of shadows who has taught many outstanding disciples, cannot guarantee that she can win 100%. This is what a terrifying talent. After practicing a set of sword skills, Su Ming breathed a sigh of relief and returned the sword of victory to Artoria. Um, what's wrong? Is there something on my face? Artoria looked at Su Ming with a complicated expression. Have you really never learned any swordsmanship before? After asking several questions, I got the same answer. Arturia finally reluctantly believed that Su Ming really had no martial arts skills before. For the next morning, she stared at Su Ming with a look that looked like a monster. However, whenever Su Ming noticed that she was looking over, she would quickly turn her head to the side, leaving only the dull hair on her head shaking. This scene made Medea exclaim how cute it is. Why? Never mind. Being stared at by Artoria is not a piece of meat. Su Ming had no choice but to suffer this in silence. Sure enough, sometimes it is not a good thing for people to be too good. Fortunately, it didn't take long for the new information brought by Medea to rescue him from this embarrassment. Dear, is there something wrong? 
The people who were eating all stopped and looked up at Medea. Um, did any of the servants fight against each other? Su Ming asked curiously. Medea crossed her hands and slid slightly, projecting Fuyuki City. She kept narrowing the scope, and finally the picture was fixed on the ancestral home of the Tasaka family. She shook her head slightly. No. I have been paying attention to the situation in these places, and just now there was an abnormal magic fluctuation in the Tosaka family's ancestral home. The Tosaka family. It's almost time, and it's time for Tosaka Rin to summon a servant, but I don't know if it's still the red A. It's very simple to know the answer, just go over and take a look. In that case, come over and say hello. Su Ming stood up and said. After hearing his words, Artoria glanced at the remaining food on the table and couldn't help but speed up her meal. Why does it become like this? How terrible. Looking at the house full of broken furniture, Tosaka Rin felt like crying. Last night, after receiving a call from Kotamine Kire, she learned that there were only two places left and she had to start the heroic spirit summoning ceremony. At the beginning, the ceremony went very smoothly. However, at the moment when it was about to end, maybe because of the unused holy relics, she had an accident without any surprise. Facts have proved that she is worthy of being the current head of the Tosaka family, perfectly inherited the talent of the Tosaka family to lose control at critical moments. Not only did the expected saber turn into archer, but the summoned heroic spirit also possessed her inexplicably. Hello. Is there really no way to get you out of my body? After trying various methods to no avail, Tasaka Rin squatted on the ground holding her head in frustration. An arrogant voice sounded from her mind. Rude guy, who allowed you to call me that? Do you think I am willing to use your body? The original me should be more attractive. Ha! Tasaka Rin, who was despised, couldn't help clenching his fist subconsciously. Please figure it out for me. I am your master. So you should listen to me for your next actions. However, the only response to her was the disdainful sneer in her mind. Just when Tasaka Rin's anger was about to reach its peak, the voice in her mind suddenly changed. Someone broke in. Several gorgeous gems instantly appeared in Tasaka Rin's hands, aiming at the door. Who is it? Come out. Don't be so excited. Su Ming walked in from the door with Medusa, and couldn't help but be surprised when he saw the messy room. Then he looked at the guarded Tasaka Rin. Or is this the way the Tasaka family treats guests? Tasaka Rin put away the gems in his hands and breathed a sigh of relief. Although the guy in front of her was also very annoying, he was still more trustworthy than other unknown masters. Snort. What are you doing here? Take it easy. I'm just here to satisfy my curiosity. Su Ming waved his hand indifferently and found a fairly clean sofa to sit on. Where are your followers? Why don't you come out and say hello? Ha. Why should I satisfy the curiosity of someone like you? Tasaka Rin's eyes were filled with contempt. It's a pity that she was ruthlessly demolished in the next second. Don't want. As a golden light lit up, Tasaka Rin's original red sweatshirt and black skirt instantly turned into a spirit child state and dispersed. They were replaced by a set of simple white spiritual clothes, with a large area of snow white skin exposed. When Su Ming came to his senses, it was Ishtar, the goddess of Venus, who appeared in front of him. Ah, what are you doing? This is my body. Tasaka Rin's angry voice resounded in Ishtar's mind, but it was a pity that she was completely ignored by him. However, facing Ishtar's wanton behavior, she was helpless. Ishtar was suspended in midair, adjusted to a quite comfortable posture, and faced Su Ming with his legs crossed and swaying. A slightly arrogant voice sounded in his ears. I am the goddess Ishtar, the goddess of beauty who rules Venus. Pay tribute to me with respect and awe. Su Ming looked at Ishtar in front of him and couldn't help having a headache. Unexpectedly, Tasaka Rin actually summoned her. This goddess of Venus, who was said to be doted on by the gods of central Mesopotamia, was not an easy person to get along with. His character can be said to be extremely bad. Although she says that it is the duty of the goddess to protect humans, she actually says with a smile. Okay, let's see if humans can survive or will they perish. In comparison, Jin Shining seems to be a bit approachable. The situation in front of him is somewhat beyond Su Ming's expectation, but generally he can guess what is going on. 
It is estimated that Tasaka Rin is holding a summoning ceremony the sacred relic was not used according to tradition, so the ceremony used her as the medium of this summons. Considering that in another timeline, Tasaka Rin had served as the container for Ishtar. There is this connection, the arrival of this Venus goddess is not surprising. However, what makes him confused is whether the current Ishtar is temporarily integrated with Tosaka Rin as before, or whether it is simply relying on Tosaka Rin. Body. Now it seems that it is more likely to be the latter. So have you figured out how to please me? Don't let me get bored. Ishtar's voice interrupted Su Ming's thinking. No matter what, he still had to solve the problem at hand first. He stood up and faced Ishtar with a smile. Sorry, I don't have the habit of crawling at other people's feet. After saying that, he glanced at the little Geo who was still shaking in the air. Hee hee. How dare you refuse me? The golden light suddenly lit up and shot towards Su Ming like a sharp arrow. Medusa reacted quickly, grabbed Su Ming and rushed out of the Tasaka family's ancestral home. Looking at the mansion that had been turned into ruins. Su Ming couldn't help but wipe the cold sweat from his forehead. In fact, the moment he rejected Ishtar, he had already arranged a defensive spell in front of him to deflect all the attacks. It seemed that the other party's personality was better than his. Worse than imagined. Be careful. Su Ming. She is strong. Artoria appeared next to Su Ming holding the sword of promise of victory, and the white shirt she was wearing was replaced by armor more suitable for battle. The rest is up to you, Saber. Artoria nodded vigorously and turned to look at Medusa. Then he'll leave it to you. As soon as he finished speaking, Ishtar's voice sounded again. Who allowed you to get out of the way without permission? With the golden light flashing, the ancestral house that had been reduced to ruin suddenly exploded. Ishtar rose gracefully and looked at Su Ming and his party with an evil expression. With a gentle wave of her hand, the familiar golden light shimmered around her again. Let's go. Saber. Under Su Ming's order, Artoria rushed forward with her sword. She chopped down all the incoming light. Pay for the sin of rejecting me. There is no need to argue, the treasures in your hands are treated as tributes to me. Mayana. Ishtar also threw mana into the air without showing any signs of weakness, and summoned a long sword to face Artoria. The battle entered a fierce stage as soon as it started. The streets and the houses on both sides suffered a huge disaster, were all destroyed in the aftermath of the battle between the two. Seeing that the scope of the battlefield continues to expand. Su Ming, please hold me tight. Su Ming immediately reached out and wrapped his arms around Medusa's slender waist without any hesitation. With the agility of Medusa A, he dodged to a safe place. Su Ming lay on Medusa's back and looked at the battlefield from a distance. In terms of strength, endurance, agility, magic power and other factors, there is actually not much difference in the panel attributes between the two. However, the actual situation on the scene is that Ishtar has a slight advantage. It's useless. There's no way you can catch me if you can't fly. After missing a hit, Ishtar flew back into the sky again, avoiding Artoria's counterattack and then taunting wantonly. Countless gems fell like sharp arrows, and were easily crushed by the Sword of Victory. Al. Tolia was unmoved, her eyes still firmly fixed on Ishtar in the sky. Now both sides have no way to defeat their opponent, it just depends on who will reveal the flaw first. In the end, Ishtar still feels I got impatient and took the lead in breaking the stalemate. Let me show you my true strength. Ishtar dodged and flew back to Ma Anna, waving her right hand lightly. Open the door. A massive amount of magic surged into the sky, as if tearing a crack in the sky. A dazzling golden planet projection appeared above everyone's heads, as if it was very close at hand. This scene, like the end of the world, appeared over Fuyuki City, and instantly this caused great panic. People scrambled and wailed and ran towards the shelter. Venus. Su Ming recognized the identity of this star at a glance and understood what Ishtar wanted to do. It seemed that he accidentally he made things too big. I guess a gas explosion can't explain today's scene. But that's fine. After everyone escapes, he doesn't have to worry about affecting too many people. Saber. Don't hold back, just do your best. Artoria nodded vigorously and took a deep breath. The sword of victory in her hand also showed its original appearance and was slowly raised in front of her. This is my best effort. 
The long sword in her hand was thrown by Ishtar to the stars above her head. Desperate magic power gathered on Mana beside her. She stretched out her hand and locked Arturia below. Crush it. Mountains shock star salary. The conceptual stars in the sky instantly turned into a huge arrow and shot out of Mana's magazine. Just the pressure before arrival caused the pavement under Artoria's feet to crack. However, facing this mountain-shaking blow, her eyes showed no trace of timidity. Some are just unparalleled determination. He raised the sword of victory in his hand high above his head, and countless weak lights emitted from the earth, surrounding Arturia. It even renders its feet as a golden ocean. This is. Medusa reached out and touched a faint light. Su Ming's voice sounded faintly. That shining sword is the tragic and lofty ideal that all warriors who died on the battlefield in the past, present and future have in their hearts when they die. With this will and courage, she carries out this faith to the end. The real name of the ever-victorious Gao Singer is Miracle. As if she noticed something, Medusa turned her head and looked at the battlefield. At the same time, Artoria also took a step forward and swung down the long sword that was shining with endless light in her hand. Pledge. The sword of victory. The light carrying the faith of countless warriors hit the stars like falling from the sky. The two met in midair and merged together. Not good. Feeling the rapid loss of magic power in his body, Su Ming's expression changed. If the aftermath of the explosion was allowed to spread, I'm afraid the entire Fuyuki city would be destroyed. Ryder, help me hold her down. Yes, I see. Medusa stretched out her hand and pulled gently on the back of her head, and the blindfold fell off. A pair of purple pupils were revealed. This is the legendary magic eye. Su Ming glanced at it curiously, but there was no time for it now. He slowly admired it. He dodged and entered the center of the battlefield, making both Ishtar and Arturia stunned. Su Ming, come back soon. Danger. Arturia couldn't help shouting anxiously. Even they don't dare to appear in Su Ming's position now. Even if they don't die, they will definitely be seriously injured. Rest assured. Please believe me. Su Ming faced Artoria and smiled slightly, making her stunned. After hesitating, she still chose to believe Su Ming. Su Ming turned around and looked at the huge light group above his head, and took a deep breath. Put your middle finger on top of your index finger. Field expansion infinite airspace. At the moment when the black and white domain enveloped the light group, the two noble phantasm moves reached the limit that they could sustain and suddenly exploded. Su Ming immediately left the scope of the domain and was about to explode. The aftermath is limited to the domain. Rise. Under his control, the boundless airspace enveloped the light group and rushed straight to the altitude of 10,000 meters. With the dazzling bright light flashing, at this moment, two suns appeared in the sky above Fuyuki City. Followed by the explosion the air wave generated was like a hurricane, sweeping everything on the ground. Arturia put her hands in front of her face to resist the attack of the air wave, and her eyes were firmly locked on Su Ming. Looking at the scene in front of her, she couldn't help but also fell into sluggishness. This, is this really the effect that magic can achieve? What a risk. Su Ming also breathed a long sigh of relief and wiped the cold sweat from his forehead. Fortunately, the two people's noble phantasms did not have anti-realm properties, which allowed him to succeed by chance. Even so, he would not be able to increase the power even a little bit more. Being restrained, I can only choose to activate the magic technique and run away. It actually blocked it, so let me see how you block it next. Ishtar, who came back to her senses, pointed her finger to the sky again. Don't even think about it. Facing the Medusa that was rapidly attacking towards me, Ishtar could only give up the plan of liberating the noble phantasm again. He waved his hand and fired countless beams of light in an attempt to stop Medusa, but was blocked by them with extremely dexterous movements. Dodged without any impact. Cut. What a hassle. Ishtar wanted to distance himself, but suddenly he found that his body began to turn to stone. At this level, you can't catch me. In an instant, she broke free from the petrified state. However, Wuming Dagger was already wrapped around her ankle, and the other end was firmly fixed on the ground by Medusa. What? Time. Before Ishtar could react, Su Ming followed suit and activated his power with the remaining magic power. Space Confinement. Saber. 
Without any hesitation, Arturia jumped up high and used all her strength to slap the Sword of Victory in her hand hard on the back of Ishtar's head. The goddess of Venus didn't even have time to say anything. After saying that, he passed out immediately. The spiritual equipment on his body slowly dissipated, and he returned to Tasaka Rin state again. It was finally solved. Well done, Saber. Facing Su Ming's compliment, Artoria replied seriously. No. Without your help, I'm afraid I wouldn't be able to defeat her so easily. Su Ming, how should she deal with it? Medusa also came over carrying the unconscious Tasaka Rin. Su Ming looked at the mess around him and couldn't help but smile bitterly. Take her back first. If Tasaka Rin is left here and ignored, then there will undoubtedly be another man-made natural disaster for Fuyuki City. It is estimated that it will not be long before the Fuyuki disaster ten years ago will happen again. Hiss, it hurts. The severe pain prompted Tasaka Rin to wake up from her coma. She sat up suddenly and looked at the room in front of her. I, where is this? And what happened to the injury on her body? Looking down at the bandage wrapped around her chest, Tosaka Rin looked confused. Broken memories gradually emerged in her mind. She remembered that it was Archer who snatched control of her body at the beginning. Quan, and then the fight with Saber, I can't remember anything after that. Su Ming. What about Su Ming? Yo. You woke up and you seem to be recovering well. The sudden sound suddenly frightened Tasaka Rin. He turned around and found Su Ming sitting in the corridor of the courtyard. Why am I here? Your servant lost the battle and was picked up by me. Su Ming's tone was calm, as if he was saying something completely normal. Ha! Tasaka Rin looked in disbelief, as if you were kidding me again. Don't worry, all the wounds on your body will be taken care of by Sakura. But in order to prevent Ishtar from going berserk, I added something small to your body. Su Ming stood up and walked to Tasaka Rin, sitting opposite him. Now let's talk about your problem. What questions can I have? Tasaka Rin turned his head away. Su Ming ignored the arrogant young lady's harsh words and continued on his own. If my guess is good, you have no way to separate Ishtar from your body now, and you have no way to order her, right? Tasaka Rin instantly jumped up like a cat with explosive hair. Ah, she is my servant, how could I not order her? What do you mean? Just say something. However, under Su Ming's calm gaze, his voice became smaller and smaller in the end, and he lowered his head in frustration. Have you ever tried a command spell? Tasaka Rin buried his head on his knees, stretched out his right hand from the quilt and shook it in front of Su Ming. Only one of the original three command spells was left at this time. Tried it from the beginning. Nothing works. Su Ming frowned slightly. Now there is some trouble. If Ishtar has been staying in Tasaka Rin's body, doesn't it mean that only by killing Tasaka Rin can he exit? Although Sakura said so I won't say it, but it will definitely be sad. Ah. I won't always be like this from now on. Tasaka Rin held her head and wailed. Don't argue for now, I'll think of a solution. Su Ming rubbed his forehead. Although Tasaka Rin was not making any noise, his expression clearly showed no hope for Su Ming. Su Ming analyzed the command spell in his hand. Logically speaking, the command spell has certain effects on the servants. It is absolutely mandatory. Even if you order a follower to commit suicide, the follower will execute it 100%. If the command spell cannot separate Ishtar and Tasaka Rin, then there is one and only one situation. This order beyond the ability of the command spell. You analyze the structure of the command spell and combined it with divinity to create the familiar mark. When Su Ming accepted all the information, his expression suddenly became weird. This family engraving ability is too, overbearing. To put it simply, any being left, engraved, by him will become his dependent and cannot refuse any of his orders. And this imprint does not act on the body, but on the soul. Unless he takes the initiative to erase the mark, even death cannot cut off the connection between him and his family. He can also sense the status of his dependents through engravings. Of course, this family mark also has a positive side. Beings marked by him can use his power by praying to him. The stronger his power, the greater the increase in his dependence. Su Ming took a deep breath, looked at Tasaka Rin and said. I already have a solution. The seal that Medea left on Tasaka Rin will not last long at all. 
In order to prevent Ishtar from going berserk after waking up, he can only do this first. At worst, he can wait until the Holy Grail War is over before erasing it from Tasaka Rin. Remove the engraving. What? Tasaka Rin was stunned for a moment, and then his dull eyes suddenly regained their brilliance. He rushed forward and threw Su Ming to the ground, and grabbed his collar with force. Really? Ahem, get off me first. Su Ming finally broke away, breathing heavily. He was truly worthy of being a, devil's muscular body. He felt that he was only a little away from dying on the spot. Let's talk about it first, although I can't separate her from you for the time being. But at least you can make her obey your orders. Tasaka Rin thought for a while and immediately agreed. When the Holy Grail War is over, then he should naturally be able to separate from the servants, right? She looked at Su Ming in front of her with a complicated expression. Strictly speaking, their current identities but the enemy. Snort. For the sake of helping me, I will be the last one to eliminate you in this Holy Grail War. Su Ming not only laughed dumbly. Oh. Really? Soon. Tasaka Rin realized how arrogant her words were. After figuring out how luxurious Su Ming's lineup was, she was completely stunned. Four servants. Four followers. Even including the strongest card, Saber. Hateful. Why does it become like this? Ah, 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 ah. After a burst of incompetent and furious venting, she was dejected and had to accept Su Ming's invitation to form an alliance. After all, it is better to form an alliance now than to be the first to be eliminated. Can we get started now? After Tasaka Rin accepted the reality, Su Ming asked. Tasaka Rin sat down again. How do you want me to cooperate with you? Su Ming looked at Tasaka Rin carefully. Take off your clothes first. Ha. I need to place a mark on your body, and there is no way to do it through clothes. Looking at Tasaka Rin's clenched fist, Su Ming quickly explained before the other party stormed off. After thinking for a while, he added. You don't need to take it all off, you can choose where to place it. Tasaka Rin looked hesitant, and suddenly gritted his teeth viciously and said. Turn around. If you dare to peek, I will poke your eyes out. Su Ming turned around silently and did not laugh at Tasaka Rin's deceptive behavior. Tasaka Rin hesitated for a moment, took a deep breath and slowly took off the stockings on his legs. Not okay yet. Su Ming asked tentatively after waiting for a long time. At the same time, he was also a little curious about what position Tasaka Rin would choose. However, what responded to him was the sound of breaking the air from behind. Su Ming quickly leaned over to avoid this sound. Remembering the sharp whip kick, he turned around and crossed his hands in front of his chest to firmly block the second kick. Who do you think you are facing? It's you who should be a slave. Kneel down and kiss my instep. Su Ming looked up and saw that the person standing in front of him suddenly turned into Ishtar. It seemed that the other party heard the conversation between them in Tasaka Rin's body and forcibly gained control of the body. Fortunately, judging from the strength just now, the spell left by Medea is still taking effect. In this case, don't blame him for being rude. Su Ming suddenly reached out and grabbed Ishtar's stretched out ankle, and pulled hard. Ishtar, who had not yet fully recovered, was unable to compete with him who had activated dragon power, in terms of physical strength. He was thrown to the floor hard. Su Ming was not polite and just rode on. He went up and pressed Ishtar under him to control him. He pressed one hand on the opponent's abdomen. Familiar engraving, activate. A burst of red light flashed, and a complex red mark appeared on Ishtar's lower abdomen. Ishtar also stopped struggling. Ah. Guy. How dare you blaspheme the beautiful goddess. Ishtar, give control of your body back to Tasaka Rin. Su Ming, who really couldn't stand the other party's noises, gave the order unbearably. As the spiritual equipment dissipated, Tasaka Rin regained control of his body. You can go down. Um. Feel sorry. Su Ming quickly got up from Tasaka Rin. If anything happens, you can notify me at any time. Tasaka Rin stood up and walked out the door. Ah. What did that stupid servant do to her body? It's so embarrassing. Just when she was about to walk out of the door, there was a sudden sound from behind. Come to Su Ming's voice. Rin, it's safer here. You can move here. And Sakura would be happier if you could move here. If possible, he still wants to try to repair the relationship between the sisters. I will think about it. 
Tasaka Rin hurriedly left after saying a few words. Of course she understood that Su Ming's suggestion was the most correct choice, but how could she stay here shamelessly after what happened just now? Now she just wants to escape quickly here. Su Ming looked at Tasaka Rin's back and did not try to stay. Instead, he started thinking about the next action plan. After solving the problem between Ishtar and Tasaka Rin, only Bazit and Si Uchilain and the two pairs of Ilya and Hercules. As well as the pleasant monsters of Kotamine Kire and Jin Shining. The Holy Grail War has not officially started yet. Counting Tasaka Rin and Ishtar, our side the camp has already gathered five servants. Coupled with the fact that I can compete with the servants in combat effectiveness, it is no longer a problem to win this Holy Grail War. And with the existence of familiar Mark, maybe his purpose can also be changed. He has a vague hunch that when he grows enough to threaten the existence of human nature, he will inevitably attract the attention of Aliyah and Gaia. It is better to use the Holy Grail War to make a good improve your own strength. Moreover, facing Jin Shining, the heroic spirit standing at the top of the pyramid, it is not a bad thing to make more preparations. After all, he does not want any casualties to the people around him. Who should you choose as your next target? Looking at Einsburn's forest station and the ghost mansion where Bazit was. Su Ming was entangled for a while. Si Yu Chilain was Skathich's disciple, and he could win over it if possible. And he is the little holy grail, Leah is the key to activating the great holy grail. It must be in his own hands. Fortunately, his entanglement did not last long and was interrupted by Sakura who hurried over. Um, has Tasaka Senpei gone back? Looking at the empty room, a trace of surprise flashed in Sakura's eyes. Um, what's matter? When she heard Su Ming's question, Ying immediately reacted. Something new. Sister Medea discovered that Si Yu Chilain seemed to be being hunted by someone. Su Ming couldn't help being surprised when he heard the news. When he was repelling the opponent last time, he kindly reminded the opponent. If Bazit is smart enough, he will definitely be wary of Kotamine Kire. Si Yu Chilain's strength is not weak. Even if he cannot defeat Heracles and escape, there is still no problem. So, there is only one person left who has the strength to chase him all the time. Yilgamesh, King of Heroes. Su Ming felt a flash of helplessness in his heart. He was really lucky as a spearman since ancient times. He didn't expect that such unlucky things could happen to Si Yu Chilain. Sakura, please gather everyone together. Su Ming ordered to Ying. How could he stand by and watch such an interesting thing? Medusa, Artoria, follow me. Medea and Sakura stay in the temple to provide intelligence support. Skathich, go and save Si Yu Chilain. The opponent is likely to be the hero King Gilgamesh, especially beware of his Skylock and EA. Su Ming quickly assigned everyone's tasks, and finally did not forget to explain the information about Gilgamesh to Skathich. It is not yet clear how strong Gilgamesh is after gaining a physical body, but with his judging from his performance in the four games, except for Skathich, I'm afraid no one can say that he can definitely beat him. The original scriptures of all myths, the templates of heroes, and the king's treasure, which contains the prototypes of all the noble phantasms in the world are enough for him to restrain the vast majority of servants. Skathich nodded to indicate that his knowledge disappeared instantly. Medusa and Artoria chose to drive a motorcycle. Su Ming looked at the two girls in the back seat and hesitated for a moment, but finally chose to hug Medusa's slender waist. After all, Medusa has an A-plus level, writing, skill. Let's go too. Now Si Yu Chilain feels that his situation is very bad. No. Perhaps despair should be more appropriately described. It's really embarrassing. Looking at his reflection in the water, Si Yu Chilain had a smile on his face. The originally handsome face had already been stained by the blood flowing from his forehead. Even the armor on his body became dilapidated. And the reason for all this is because of the extremely disgusting guy behind him. Roar. Who gave you permission to stop without permission? Keep running like a dog to please me. Si Yu Chilain looked back, and saw a blonde king wearing a black uniform standing on the street lamp, looking down at him. His red eyes were full of arrogance and disdain. Golden light shone around him, and every time the weapons are all legendary treasures. The injuries on his body were caused by this. The hero born between gods and humans, the heroic King Gilgamesh in the legend of Mesopotamia. 
In Si Yu Chilain's heart he was very aware of the huge gap between himself and his opponent, but he no longer planned to escape. The task of covering the master's escape had been completed, and now it was time to enjoy the battle. Even facing this person in human history the oldest, king of heroes, has no fear in his heart. After all, he is the Cullen Bulldog, Ireland's son of light. The desperate situation in front of him can't help but remind him of his past, when he had to give up his left hand because of the oath, he couldn't even use the magic spear given to him by his teacher. Even when he was not allowed to fight openly as a hero, he still chose to fight and accepted his death calmly. At least, this time he used it with all his heart. With all his strength. Even if it means death. He must let this proud king remember his name. Si Yu Chilain tightened his grip on the spear in his hand and stared at Gilgamesh in midair. He knew, I only have one chance to pierce the opponent's heart with the death thorn piercer. Who allowed you to look at me? Aware of Si Yu Chilain's fighting spirit, Gilgamesh was furious. With the opening of King's Treasure, countless noble phantasms were shot at Si Yu Chilain. You have no right to look at me. An insect must behave like an insect, always staring down at the ground. Then go to hell. Si Yu Chilain waved the spear in his hand at high speed, cutting down the incoming noble phantasms one by one. He advanced with difficulty in this attack like a violent storm. He launched a desperate charge towards Gilgamesh. It was almost. It was still possible. Just a little bit. Just a little bit worse. The spear that pierced the death thorns. The crimson light was like a thunder, rushing upstream against the shining golden light. However, the last distance was as unbridgeable as a drop from the sky, and the tip of the spear stopped in front of Gilgamesh's chest. Four chains held it tightly his limbs were bound, and no matter how hard he tried, he could not move the magic spear in his hand any further. It was the precious phantom Gilgamesh held, the lock of the sky. How dare you approach me with your dirty body, are you so anxious to die? The holy sword Durandal was pulled out of the king's treasure by Gilgamesh and thrown towards Si Yu Chilain. If this is the case, then I will make it happen for you. Durandal rapidly enlarged in Ku Chilain's eyes. Is this the end? There was no trace of fear or cowardice on Si Yu Chilain's face, only calmness and a trace of regret. It's a pity, I couldn't have the fun of fighting with all the servants. But this is not bad, at least at this moment, he showed all his strength. Just when Si Yu Chilain was calmly preparing to face death, a dark red light rushed from behind him and directly knocked away Durandal. It shot towards Gilgamesh with unabated force. Even though Gilgamesh reacted quickly, there was still a trace of blood on his handsome cheek. Unforgivable. Who is it? Get out of here. Gilgamesh stroked the wound on his cheek, looked at the blood on his hand and roared angrily. Missed. But it doesn't matter. Scathich walked out of the shadows, and the scarlet magic spear was also recalled in his hand. Si Yu Chilain, who had escaped alone, couldn't help but look stunned and screamed. Teacher. Si Yu Chilain, who had been released by the heavenly lock, silently stepped aside, leaving the battlefield to the two of them. He knew that the next battle was far beyond what he could participate in based on his own strength. Tell me your name. Seemingly aware of Scathich's terror. Gilgamesh changed from his usual frivolity and had a serious expression on his face. Scathich. Scathich pointed the tip of his spear at the king of heroes as a response. At the same time, he also observed the chains surrounding him. Is this the lock of heaven that Su Ming mentioned? I see. I didn't expect to meet the queen of the kingdom of shadows here. The black uniform turned into spirits and dispersed, replaced by golden armor. Ea also appeared in Gilgamesh's hands. Facing this immortal demigod, the god slayer who killed countless gods. God. No matter how confident he is, he has to take it seriously. More importantly, Scathich, as a heroic spirit that has never been killed and is still alive, means that his king's treasure is also there is no noble phantasm that can kill the opponent. Wake up. Open the sword for the first time. The opponent suitable for you to show up is standing in front of you. Crimson light surrounded EA, and the sword rotated at high speed. Scathich held his breath and concentrated, and the magic gun in his hand also flashed with scarlet light. Just the air wave generated by the confrontation between the two would not see Yu Chilain flew away in the distance. Only then did he know how big the gap between himself and the two men was. 
However, at the moment when the two sides were about to fight, a special magic wave came from not far away. This is. Gilgamesh's expression changed, and he immediately stopped what he was doing and looked into the distance. That's right. You can't go wrong with this feeling. Is her. Gilgamesh said with a gloomy face and gritted teeth. Then he turned to Skathich. Queen of the Kingdom of Shadows, let's save the showdown between you and me for next time. After saying that, without waiting for Skathich's response, he summoned the flying noble phantasm, Vimana, and rushed out. Skathich frowned, glanced at Si Yu Chilain and chased after him. Although he didn't know what happened, however, she still decided to follow and take a look. Looking at the broken war, Si Yu Chilain could no longer hold up and slowly fell down leaning on the stone pillar. The spear that pierced the death thorn was placed weakly on his shoulder, with a wry smile on his face. Is this considered a survival? Bazit's most profound memory of his childhood was the heroic legend about Si Yu Chilain in his study. That freedom and freedom, like a heroic adventurous life, have always been elusive for her. However, when she got out of the, closed and conservative, family of magicians in her eyes, she realized that there was no essential difference in the world. In order to survive, she had to become what the orthodox magicians called a, hyena, and a, magician. Being ostracized in the magician's association. Originally, she no longer had any hope for, friends, but during a mission. She met Kirei Kotamine, the agent who was also trained as a killer by the church. As the two met more and more times during missions, it seemed that the two had become friends. It was precisely because of this that Bazit did not take Su Ming's warning to heart. I just thought that Su Ming got the information about her from somewhere and wanted to sow discord between her and Kotamine Kire. However, before deciding to meet with Kotamine Kire as planned, she still subconsciously asked Si Yu Chilain to accompany her. Unexpectedly, Kotamine Kire was not only accompanied by a servant. Moreover, Si Yu Chilain was easily defeated with one strike, and even she herself was shot off her right hand. Si Yu Chilain lured the servant away in order to protect her, but the remaining Kotamine Kire was not something she could contend with in this state. Bazit leaned against the tree holding his severed hand and looked up at the sky. His vision had long been blurred due to excessive blood loss. She suddenly felt regretful. If she had chosen to listen to Su Ming and not meet with Kotamine Kire, would the outcome have been different? Never mind. There is no point in thinking about it now. There was nothing she could do to escape. But before that, she had one last thing to do. That is to say, Kuchelain must not fall into the hands of someone like Kotamine Kire. Bazit gritted his teeth, raised his remaining left hand, gathered the last bit of magic power, and slapped the severed hand in his arms fiercely. It's a pity. A black key interrupted her movement, piercing her left hand and nailing it to the tree trunk. Bazit glared at Kotamine Kire who was walking towards him. Wouldn't even this last wish come true for her? She knew that her fate was already sealed the moment Kotamine Kire appeared. But she doesn't want to die yet. At least I don't want to see Kotamine Kire take away the command seal. Bazit prayed silently in his heart, hoping that someone would show up to stop this. Whoever it is, please come and help me. However, she could only watch in despair as Kotamine Kire stretched out his hand to the severed hand in her own hand. Just when she was about to despair, a voice suddenly sounded. I wouldn't try to touch that hand if I were you. You. No such qualification. Su Ming had thought that Bazit would be miserable, but he didn't expect it to be this miserable. Not only were both hands crippled, but the shirt on his body was almost torn into holes and covered with large and small wounds. Logically speaking, Bazit, who can be called one of the strongest seal executors by the clock tower, is not Kotamine Kire's opponent. It shouldn't be as helpless as it is now. What's more, his own magician level has reached the level of sacrifice. Even though the priest is only in the middle of the magician rating, as a magic user, it is already very good to have the old antiques in the clock tower give such a rating. Be careful. Bazit threw the short hand out of his arms with force, and at the same time reminded Su Ming loudly. The moment Su Ming opened his mouth, Kotamine Kire threw three black swords behind him without looking back. Key. As an agent carefully cultivated by the Holy Temple Church, his combat awareness is unquestionable. It is even sharper than some servants. 
After the black key was released, Kotamine Kire continued to rush towards Bazit and pressed his hand on her head. Declare. As I destroy, I also create. I both hurt and help. No one can escape from my hand, no one can escape my eyes. Return to the dust. The holy light lit up along with the steady chanting. Compared to Su Ming who suddenly appeared behind him, Kotamine Kire chose to deal with the seriously injured Bazit first. You gained insights after listening to the baptismal chant, and combined divinity and power to create the divine word technique. You listen to the baptismal chants, gain insights from the divine words, and create a pure land without stains. Facing the incoming Black Keys, Su Ming stood there as if he was frightened. However, Black Key shot straight past his body and towards the back. Even before he spoke, he had already used space power to distort the space around him. What really shocked him was the two brand new abilities that the baptismal chant brought to him. Divine word technique is similar to an enhanced version of spirit word technique. The words of the God can shape the world, and every word he says will become reality. The greater the impact of what is said, the greater the consumption. The unsullied pure land will reflect a person's soul, disintegrate the other person's will, and give him eternal peace. Su Ming looked up at Kotamine Kire and smiled slightly. Since he learned the skill with the help of the other party, let him test it with the other party. I said, there is no sound here. As Su Ming's voice fell, Kotamine Kire's singing was interrupted instantly. No matter how he spoke, he could not make a sound. Not only that, the entire forest also fell into absolute silence at this moment. Mind Kire's eyes flashed with horror, and he soon realized that the real threat was the ordinary looking young man behind him. He immediately gave up on the half-dead Bazit and turned to face Su Ming. Six handled black the keys slipped from the sleeves to the hands. The crisp birdsong sounded in the ears again, and the sound of wind and the rustling of leaves also returned. It was as if the world just now was just pressed by the mute button. Kotamine Kire raised his hand and he threw out all the black keys and rushed forward. However, in the next second, his face showed an expression as if he had seen a ghost. He saw six black keys facing Su Ming's eyebrows, the throat, heart and other vital parts were shot, but the moment they came into contact with Su Ming, all the black keys stayed in the air. Kotamine Kire hurriedly stopped and stared at this strange scene. No. He could feel himself the black key did not stop, but it could never touch Su Ming. Su Ming was clearly right in front of him, but neither his breathing, heartbeat nor magic power fluctuations could be detected. It was like a ghost. No. If the other party was a spirit body it would be easier for him to detect it. To be precise, it should be as if it does not exist in this world. This kind of ability is something he has never seen in his life. As for magic techniques, Kotamine Kire does not he was about to give up when another six black keys appeared in his hand. It was a pity that Su Ming did not intend to continue playing with him. Bazit, who was not far away, was already on his deathbed. But he still wanted to get rid of the opponent's obtain information about the clock tower from your mouth. Pure land without dirt. As Su Ming's words fell, a dazzling light suddenly erupted from his body. However, this light did not make people feel hot, but instead conveyed a sense of peace and tranquility. The black key slowly slipped out of Kotamine Kire's hand. Sliding down, he knelt down involuntarily and worshipped devoutly towards the figure in front of him. Father, I seem to have seen the clearest and most beautiful thing in the world. Kotamine Kire murmured to himself. He felt a little strange. He obviously couldn't feel beautiful about what people call beautiful things, but now he feels like this. Such peace and harmony, this is a gift from God. Even he didn't dare to look up again, for fear that his eyes would blaspheme the clarity and beauty. Goodbye, Father. As Su Ming slowly walked past Kotamine Kire, his body was completely swallowed up by the light. Until this moment, there was still a gentle smile on the corner of his mouth. Bazit also felt the same way, and finally gave Su Ming a deep look, as if trying to imprint his appearance into his mind. He passed out immediately. Su Ming, how should she deal with it? Medusa and Artoria, who hurried over, looked at Bazit who fell on the ground and asked. Take it back first. Let Medea heal her and put a seal on her. After Su Ming thought for a moment, he casually drew a primitive rune to temporarily stop Bazit's bleeding. 
The information about the torture of the clock tower was just his impromptu idea. At first, he asked Medea to pay attention here. The purpose was just to fish out Voldemort, Kotamine Kire. The final result was almost as he expected. Cu Chilane was not important to him with Scathich, but it was very difficult for Kotamine Kire to not have Cu Chilane. Important. This way, he no longer has to worry about Kotamine Kire secretly doing things behind his back. It will be much easier to deal with only Gilgamesh. Let's go back first. The three of them were about to leave when. Su Ming felt the ground beneath his feet begin to tremble. A crimson light rose into the sky from a distance, and finally converged into a dazzling pillar of light. It's Gilgamesh's deviant sword. Artoria, who had fought against Gilgamesh before, recognized him the moment the red light lit up. Corresponding to it, was the golden star that appeared like the sky was falling. The salaries of stars who shake mountains. Did they want to destroy the entire Fuyuki city? At this time, Su Ming could no longer care about wondering why Gilgamesh and Ishtar would collide. Looking at the vision in the distance, he could already imagine the high-level officials of the Magician's Association and the Holy Church. The expression on his face when he learned about this. As we all know, the Holy Grail War is held in secret. Now even if you are standing dozens of kilometers away from Fuyuki City, you can probably see this terrifying vision of heaven and earth. Fortunately, they are at a location where they are fighting it is relatively far away from the city, so it should not cause too many casualties. Under the gaze of the three people, the two noble phantasms bloomed with extremely brilliant light at the same time under the control of their respective masters, and quickly merged together. The huge power caused the ground beneath my feet couldn't help but howl, and the aftermath of the spread swept all the surrounding rivers into the sky, bringing a heavy rain to Fuyuki City. Medea, can you investigate the situation clearly? Any sign of Scathich? Su Ming, who noticed that Tasaka Rin and Ishtar were in very bad condition through the family mark, frowned and asked Medea in the temple. Not only Tasaka Rin, he was also worried about Scathich. His safety. A moment later, Medea's response came to his ears. No. All the surrounding spells were destroyed. From a distance, you can only see a deep pit of several kilometers left at the site. Su Ming's heart sank, but fortunately, Scathich's voice soon sounded in his ears. I'm fine. Gilgamesh has been defeated by me. However, Tasaka Rin was in very bad condition, and she had already started fighting Gilgamesh before I arrived. Su Ming let out a long sigh of relief. Scathich, bring her back immediately. We will meet at home. Only when Su Ming saw Tasaka Rin with his own eyes did he know how bad her condition was. It can be said that if it were not for the blessing of familiar Mark, Scathich would not be able to bring him back. Due to the loss of too much magic power, Tasaka Rin's own vitality is also on the verge of exhaustion. What's even more troublesome is that in this state, it's impossible to replenish magic in conventional ways. Regardless of whether it is conducted through spells or transmitted through familiar marking, one needs to take the initiative to guide the magic power entering the body. So, is that the only method left? Medea, help Bazit heal him. Don't forget to apply the seal. Su Ming lowered his head and thought for a moment, then took a deep breath and picked up Tasaka Rin. The longer the situation drags on, the more dangerous it becomes for Tasaka Rin. I see. Medea nodded lightly. Then Su Ming no longer hesitated and walked to his room with Tasaka Rin in his arms. After Su Ming left, the room suddenly fell into silence. Scathich said with great interest looking at a few people, he was the first to speak and break the silence. Is there really no problem? Medusa didn't say a word, she turned into a spirit and disappeared into the room. It doesn't matter, my brother will not be taken away. I went to prepare dinner. Sakura smiled slightly and walked to the kitchen. Su Ming promised me that he would never abandon me. Medea used a spell to lift the half-dead Bazit and walked to the basement. Artoria felt a little confused, and the hair on her head moved, but she still followed her instinct as a foodie. Sakura, let me help you. In the blink of an eye, only Scathich was left in the room. In the bedroom. Su Ming couldn't help but fell into deep thought while looking at the text in front of him. You have in-depth communication with Ishtar, the goddess of Venus, and gain insights, and realize the divine body. Why is it Ishtar? Before he could figure it out, when he lowered his head, he was looking directly into a pair of eyes full of murderous intent. 
Su Ming couldn't help but swallowed. Hello, Ishtar. Su Ming never expected that there would be a substitution midway. Fortunately, under the suppression of family mark, Ishtar was successfully persuaded to retreat. But now that Ishtar has woken up, it means that it's almost time for Tasaka Rin to wake up. You have a good rest, I still have some things to do. If you need anything, just call me. Su Ming said softly to Rin Tosaka, who was acting like an ostrich, and then stood up and put on his clothes. Just when he was about to walk out of the room, he hesitated and turned around and asked. Do you need me to use magic to treat you again? Tasaka Rin couldn't pretend any longer, so she got up, grabbed a pillow, and threw it directly on Su Ming's face. Her pretty face was filled with an extreme blush, whether because of anger or shame, and even the tips of her ears did not fall. Shut up. Su Ming raised his hand to catch the pillow. It seems you responded well. A hint of coolness made Tasaka Rin realize that something was wrong. She followed Su Ming's gaze and looked down. She screamed and hid under the quilt again. Get out. Su Ming slumped his shoulders and came to the corridor of the courtyard to sit down and concentrate on comprehending the ability he had just realized. It was only then that Tasaka Rin climbed out again and stared blankly at the ceiling, trying to clarify his chaotic thoughts. There were too many surprises in this Holy Grail War, and now she didn't know what kind of attitude she should use to face Su Ming and, Sakura. Ah, how could it become like this? In the corridor. Su Ming breathed a sigh of relief after analyzing all the information, and a hint of joy flashed in his eyes. Divine body and divinity are actually very dependent on one's origin. Sometimes, they give people a kind of debuff. It feels like it's all because of the illusion that the noble phantasm of divinity specialization seems to be in everyone's hands. For example, Yilgamesh's heavenly lock and Skathich's god-killing power. The stronger the divinity, the more difficult it is to face the enemy the easier it is for them to fall into a disadvantage. However, this actually depends on the personalities of both parties. Even if the lock of heaven has the attribute that the stronger the target's divinity, the stronger it will be, but once the target's divinity and power if it exceeds the upper limit of what it can bear, it will be easily broken away. It is okay to suppress some demigods, but it is absolutely impossible to lock a real god. What he learned from Ishtar is undoubtedly the best god's body. Since he does not belong to any god system, conceptually speaking, he is also the firstborn initial god, and is equivalent to the existence of the creation god in terms of personality. God's body brings him the most intuitive increases reflected in the fact that any attack that does not contain divinity specialization or has divine power will be reduced to varying degrees when it is applied to him. For example, some weak modern magic or conventional weapons, they can't even cause any damage to him. This feeling of steadily getting stronger is so good. Su Ming sighed silently in his heart. He felt that he was getting closer and closer to the legendary omniscient and omnipotent divine realm. At this rate, if he continues, it is not impossible to set off a mythical era unique to him in modern times. But if the guys from the Magician Association find out, they will definitely try their best to designate and seal him. Forget it. Regardless of this by the time the Magician's Association finds out, he will probably have already grown beyond the title. Putting this matter behind him, Su Ming decided to see how Bazit was doing. So warm. Bazit, who was in the dark, had never known this feeling before. It's like a baby returning to its mother's arms. As her consciousness gradually awakened, a beam of light slowly appeared in her eyes. Inexplicably, she remembered the figure that appeared in front of her when she was dying. Have you been, redeemed? Bazit suddenly opened his eyes and sat up, clutching his chest. It turns out that it was all just a dream, and that dazzling light was just a bright light in the basement. Wrong. This is not a dream. Bazit soon realized something was wrong. Not only had his injuries been treated carefully, but his broken right hand was also reattached intact. In my own clothes. Yo, you're awake. Who is it? Bazit rolled out of bed and looked up warily. He saw a young man sitting on the sofa not far away, looking down at a book leisurely. It seemed like, open double angle bracket how to avoid hatchets in 100 ways. Su Ming put down the book in his hand and looked up at Bazit. Now that you're awake, we can talk about business. Who are you? Where is this place? Where is Kotamine Kire? Bazit ignored Su Ming and asked nervously. 
At the same time, he secretly looked at the layout of the room and looked for an escape route. You mean priest. Already dead. Chaotic memories flooded into Bazit's mind like a tide, yes. She remembered it. Thinking of that extremely weird scene, Kotamine Kire kowtowed to the person in front of him like the most devout believer, and then disappeared into ashes. This guy is far more terrifying than Kotamine Kire. Bazit immediately prepared to use the command spell to force Si Yu Chilane to come over. However, just as she raised her right hand, Su Ming instantly appeared in front of her he grabbed her wrist from behind. A devilish whisper sounded softly in her ears. This is not a wise choice. Miss Bazit. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and support our channel.